So, it is another Wednesday. Welcome back to what I'm calling Morrowind Remastered here on Lease Plays. I'm Lise, the one, the only person who owns a Vivek Blanky. Yeah! Clarissa, you're a birthday girl, aren't you? Well, yesterday you were the birthday girl. Well, happy birthday to you. Ah. <sighs> And your birthday present is that uh, you get to watch more adventures of, of Ginger Dren. You're sharing a laptop while we eat birthday sushi. It's today. Okay. Okay. Facebook was confused. Nom nom nom. I have had my dinner, which is, uh, it is a pork and pepper stew, which was very good. Um, Matt is off getting his, uh, his COVID booster, uh, which... I don't know what his problem is, but he went, like, all the freaking way to Worcester. I got mine at the local pharmacy. I'm getting mine at the local pharmacy, but I don't know. Ours is not to question why. Ours is just to play Morrowind. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I didn't do a proper save last night. Oh, well. Or Sunday night. So, yeah, I don't know if any of you saw the uh, recap or highlights reels that I put together, but uh, it was my first experience playing around with OpenShot, which is a video editing software. I think it turned out better than the first one I did with the Twitch highlighter, but that's not saying much. I've still got a lot to learn. I have to step away briefly to make pan sauce, but dot dot dot. I wait with bated breath. So I think last time um, when we left off, I was checking out various spells that were available from the mages in the mages guild and I realized I did not talk to this grumpy orc here in the corner whose name is Sharn Gramuzgob. Oh well she's not very grumpy today I guess. I cannot think with all these interruptions please leave me alone. Do you know anything about the bet with Galbadir? They've been at each other's throats since they got here over which one is a better mage and whether Khajiit are better thieves than Bosmer. I think they are. I mean, I'm I'm speaking as somebody with with a Kaji girlfriend, obviously. Uh, all right. Uh, what do you have for spells, Sharn? Uh, I seem to recall most of these are going to be things that I'm not any good at. Spell, not quite ready for that yet. <laughs> strong feather. I think I bought feather. I don't think I bought strong feather. Is it worthwhile doing that at this point? I don't know. Strong resist magicka. Sure, let's go for that. I have no idea if I can even cast any of this. Five! Let's do this, Guarple! Oh yeah, so an update on the Guarple situation. So I reached out to Derpy Muffins, uh, who is the person who did my fantastic emotes. Uh, and she said she would be more than happy to do t-shirt art for the very reasonable price of $75. So I suggested a design of a grumpy looking guar with the text, wake up guarple. Uh, so that is, that is going to be a t-shirt at some point. Um, and if you wish to contribute to the t-shirt art fund, uh, I, I invite you to, if you have Amazon Prime, to use your free Prime subscription to subscribe because any money that I receive, either in donations or subscriptions, will go, as I say, to a better quality of, of Guar feed. Um, and by that I mean, you know, improving the, the channel, which at this point is mostly just throwing money at Derby Muffins. But hey, you know, Guarple shirts, there will be Guarple shirts. By the way, if you if you do subscribe, you get a handy dandy emote, which is certainly the best Guar emote. Oh come on, show me my own emotes, goddamn you! Here we go. Ah, thank you, thank you. That will make it your fifth month. Uh, which, admittedly, considering I stopped streaming for, uh, for, like, two years, I'm, I'm impressed it still remembers. Yes. Uh, indeed. You would, you may, you may certainly, there's a donate button down below. You could also actually, like, do a subscribe with cash dollars. 
um, which I think is like four ninety nine a month, and then it's like. Uh, like half of that goes to me. Although, admittedly, you have to make like a hundred bucks before Twitch will even give you a, pay a payout, uh, which I should be pretty close to by now, considering I didn't get a payout in the whole time I was streaming. <laughs> um, so you are welcome to do any of those options. I do not uh, know what would be easier for you. Um, but thank you again. Uh, and there will be Gwarpl Gwarpl shirts hopefully soon. All right, we were we were investigating spells, so let's let's go back to that. Yes, use your new guar emotes; they're the best. All right, so as a brief recap, last time we uh, we found our way to Belmora, we spoke to Caius Cosades, uh, who you may remember as shirtless Jean Luc Picard. Uh, he said uh, we were kind of raw and that we needed to do some freelance adventuring before we got our first mission. So I went and I joined the Fighters Guild and I uh, joined the uh, Mages Guild and debated whether or not I should join the Thieves Guild. The problem is the Fighters Guild and the Thieves Guild quests actually conflict at a certain point. Um, but it's probably worthwhile to just join the Fighters Guild to get access to like the free stuff they give you. So I'll probably just do that. I probably won't do too many quests. Honestly, I may not do many of the guild quest lines just so we can focus on the main quest and getting through it. But, um, so what time is it in game? It is 11 p.m. I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Mostly just for, uh, do you want something? for RP purposes, I guess you might say. So let's get my beauty rest. It's not a lot of privacy here. I was expecting, Valene says, I was expecting my own bed. Don't they know? Don't they know who I am? All right. Uh, so I now that it is 7 a.m., I'm actually going to do a thing. Um, I'm going to do some alchemy as a first step. Now that I have better alchemy equipment. Um, do, do I have? What do I have in the way of restore fatigue? By the way, this little thing here that allows you to search that is all open more wind uh it might be actually it might be the the hud i installed um because this does not exist by default so let's see if i can make some potions apparently not keep trying lace oh, i made one potion all right well so much for that I don't have any restore health, do I? No, I do not. Um, thing is, is since I, my it isn't really good enough to know if I have. No, that doesn't give me anything. Drain fatigue. Yeah, there aren't poisons in this game. They're just shitty potions. All right. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm so bad at this. I think, however, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a lot of the stuff on the floor because, as I mentioned, alchemy equipment is freaking heavy. Uh, where did that go? There. It's huge. It's 25 pounds. Um, and I don't want to have to carry it around. So we're just going to put our alchemy equipment on the floor. And I have to say, I actually kind of prefer the lack of physics in this game because I don't know if you remember in Skyrim, you drop stuff on the floor and like the entire room goes flying. Um, this is much nicer. Yeah, so I'm just going to drop a whole bunch of stuff I'm not going to need right away. Actually, I think I... Eh, at this point, I'm not going to bother making potions since I've started taking it all out of my inventory. Sounds like Matt has returned from his uh, sojourn of immunity. Yeah, because this stuff gets heavy. So how was uh, everybody's week so far? My company has been running a conference this week, which has been really uh, tiring. Admittedly, I have a team now, so it's not as tiring as it was last year. But, uh, there's always stuff to do. 
Jesus, there's a lot of alchemy ingredients. Ooh, scuttle pie. Maybe I should keep scuttle pie. Eh. Yeah, if I hadn't stolen so many alchemy ingredients, I wouldn't have so many to take out of my inventory. Oh, 24 swall quama eggs? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a lot of <laughs> quama eggs. Oh, hello, OBS. I've been taking a little rest since I finished my homework. So are you taking a class? Because you've mentioned your homework a few times. Um, are you, like, getting, getting your master's or something like that? A lot of people are doing that lately, I feel like. Thank you for watching the exciting stream, which is me removing things from my inventory. I'll be all here all night, at this rate. Are the kitties being silly? Yes. Oh, I totally didn't even notice. Apparently one of the cats is limboing under the screen behind me, my husband informs me. I don't think any of you have seen the kittens yet. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I made this clear anywhere, but we actually we have uh, now. We adopted three kittens. Uh, I'm very careful with how I say that. Not three kids. Here is one. <gasps> Hello. This is the floof. This is little Monty. We named them all after uh, Woodhouse uh, protagonists. So there is a Monty, there is a Pongo, and there is a Gussie. They uh, are very kittens. Kittens! You're doing a full-time post-grad certificate in novel writing. Oh, fantastic. That is really cool. I, I'm going to remove my harpoon for now, too, since I'm not really using it. I need to sell this iron longsword as well. Okay. All right. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to the Thieves Guild, uh, or where I happen to know the Thieves Girl, uh, Guild is. Uh, I'm going to join it, uh, if teams. they will let me. Um, exactly I'm going to, uh, while I'm over there, deal with these rats. I don't know if you remember, but the Fighters Guild gave me a mission to deal with some rats. Kittens! Hello, Grummeldunk. Welcome back. Yes, they are. They were born in March, so they're not quite a year old yet. Um, two of them are actually brothers. Um, one of them is a week older. Um, but they were they were all socialized together. Uh, when we went to the shelter, they were all in like the same cage together. Um, and we were like, well, we can't. We were thinking to adopt two, but we were like, well, we can't just adopt two. Like we can't leave one behind. That would be wrong. So yeah, we have the oh, invocation of Azura. It doesn't look like a skill book. I'm gonna need these. Not all of them, though, probably. Uh, soul gems might be nice to have, though. And I have a scroll of... I don't have any more scrolls of divine... Of Oh, yeah, we definitely want cure disease. Probably one. This way I won't have to get touched by any... By any divines. Any Adra. I don't like being touched by Adra. Makes me feel dirty. You did the right thing. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, the the shelter was very insistent. Like, well, we Is don't usually something? adopt out three cats at once, but uh, that we won them over. And then uh, once we won them over, they were like, "Please have all of the things. Let me give you all of these adorable toys that these volunteers knit for knit for the kitties." All right. Do you want more duties or not? Oh. But you may be ready for advancement. Well, thank you for reminding me. You're now officially Valaine Dren, the apprentice. Study diligently and perform your duties. I should probably go see if Ajira has any more duties for me. So I have already given her a whole bunch of mushrooms and flowers. And um, and I, I hid a soul gem uh, in... A fake soul gem in Galbadir's oh, desk. Because she has this bet going with Galbadir. Uh... All right, so, oh, right, she wanted me to buy a ceramic bowl. That's right, and pick up her dry cleaning. I've had three cats before. You know, you knew what you were getting into. I actually have four right now, and I have had four cats before. Um, 
because Lyra is still alive. Unfortunately, we, we did lose Brianna and Burnbright this year. It was a very sad year in terms of of losing kitties. Lyra does have a lot of health issues, though. Um, she has lung cancer, although we found it completely by accident and we're treating it. Um, but, and it's it's not really growing, but it's not like the treatment we're giving her is going to completely eradicate it. So, have to be realistic about these things. Sorry to be a downer there. Okay, so as a reminder, I'm going over to where I believe the Thieves Guild to be to join the Thieves Guild. Last time we were thinking I wasn't going to join it, but it really... I'm joining House Lalu. All of my skills are like security, light armor, short blade, sneak, things like that. So even though I've done the quest before, I feel like I really should um, just go ahead and join the fucking Thieves Guild. There are a lot of different joinable uh, guilds in this game. They cut down on them. They way cut down on them in, in Oblivion and Skyrim. Alright, hello. Speak up! Speak up. Hello, Sotilt. Uh, we met briefly before. You directed me to Mr. Bacola Closius. I'm actually here now uh, because I hear, I hear you're, you're the Thieves Guild. Maybe you'd like to join the Thieves Guild? Apparently you can just walk up to somebody and be like, I'd like to join the Thieves Guild. Talk to Sugar Lips. Ah, yes, Sugar Lips, the one with the racist name. All right, I'm listening. Actually, I haven't talked to you yet. He is a Wood Elf. Hello, Wood Elf. What can you tell me about Balmora? Tell me the latest rumors. The guys who are making the real money are the tax agents and bureaucrats. They take their percentage off the top. Yeah, I bet they do. And you know what? By joining House Lalu, I'm going to join them. What do you Did I miss mean? the babies? You missed a very brief glimpse of Monty, which he only showed up because Matt stuck him on my shoulder. You missed one baby. Hello, Sugar Lips Habasi. Did I mention my girlfriend is a Khajiit? And yes, I do want to join the Thieves Guild. You look like you may have some skill. You want to join? Or maybe you want to know what we're all about? Yeah, let me in. You are now a toad in the Thieves Guild. Welcome, Brother Valandren. Talk to me when you want some odd jobs to do and when you think you're ready for advancement. If you have a price on your head, there are those you can talk to as well. All right, what kind of odd jobs do you have? A good friend of Habasi wants a diamond. Nelkaria, the alchemist, has diamonds. What sort of diamonds? A friend wants a diamond from Habasi. Nelkaria of Whitehaven had diamonds last time Habasi sniffed, when, uh, sniffed out her store. Bring Habasi a diamond. Uh, getting a diamond from the store may not be, in fact, the best way to get a diamond. <laughs> uh... It is really hard to rob her store, if I recall correctly. I'm listening. All right. Well, any I may or may not be able to do that. Seen any elves? I am an elf, madam. I have looked at myself in the mirror today. A toad. Yes, that's the bottom rank of the thieves guild. You are making foods of tastiness. What is for dinner tonight, Beth? We were while we were over here. We were going to talk to. Trelane, Drain, Thelas, who's the one who wants us to get rid of the rat situation. She is What is this about? Hey, hey, uh, the Fighters Guild sent me. Are you the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? Oh yes, that's me. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. She cares a lot about her pillows. All right, you gave me the storage key. Let's get a weapon here. Um, I think that I am going to keep my crazy-ass spears because I need some practice with this thing. I need some practice with my spear. And you can see she has plenty of pillows. She is prepared. Ooh, that's a pretty pot. Some of the retexturings in this are really nice. Alright. Die, rat, for mother! Just like back home. 
Actually, no, we usually have slaves to do this back home. I'm man, I'm still really bad with spear. Okay, I think I need to switch to my short blade before this rat kills me. Ah! That's much better. Okay. Save the pillows! Save the world! I'm just gonna close the door while I steal some pillows. And also heal up a little bit. she got in here? Ooh, some gold. I will take it. Anything worth stealing? Else worth stealing. I mean, the pillows are not really worth stealing. I mean, they're weight one, value one. They're worthless. But, maybe there's more interesting stuff in the storeroom. So, I should probably stick with the weapon I have, because it turns out I'm really bad with a spear. Hello. What is this about? All right. So, let's see if I can cast a shield spell. That's not what I meant to do. Yes, this means you won't be building a pillow fort. <laughs> no, apparently not. Okay. Go in here while my shield is still up. have been dealt with. You will find that if you look in these crates, there are... Take a guess. What do you think is in these crates? Not what I was expecting. I was expecting more pillows. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong one. Ah, another one of these strange grinder things. I will take salt rice and marshmallow because together they make a restore health potion. Here we found the pillows. 25 pillows! You know, you probably could build a pillow fort in this game, now that I think of it. Because since there's no physics, you can just sort of stack them on top of each other. So, make that a goal. I'm going to build a pillow for it. I mean, maybe not today, but, you know, this place is here. The pillows will be here when I'm when I'm ready for them. Maybe once I get my stronghold as a uh, Lalu retainer. Which means, reminds me, I should go join House Lalu. What is this? Sweet roll! And I'm stealing it! A pillow stash. Yeah, you gotta be prepared when naps strike. Naps could happen at any time. Not worthwhile. Okay, let us report back to... Yes, Alfando? Oh. Sorry, didn't mean to put a knife in your face. Yeah, I have something on my mind. The fact that I killed your rats. I'll take your word that the cave rats are dead. That you could just look in the next room. Here, take these hundred septums. It's what I agreed to pay the fighters guild. Not complaining. Hey, do you know anything about Nakaria of Whitehaven? Her shop is a two-story building on the northwest side of town. I knew that. Thanks. What is this Odai that everybody's talking about? The river Odai flows through the center of Belmora to the coast near La Ode. That makes a surprising amount of sense. Okay. We'll report back to the Fire's Guild. We should also go and buy a Jira her pool. And pick up her dry cleaning. As soon as I figure out dry cleaning. I mean, I do have slowed soap. I think we determined that dry cleaning fluid 
Sloan soap is is dry cleaning fluid, right? Hello, Revere. Scent is unfamiliar. You want to buy Revere's famous Daedric weapons? You have Daedric weapons? What? You say there's not Daedric weapons? No, you're right. But Revere is no liar. When you wish it, Revere's friend, <laughs> Revere's friend, Revere's fiend, demon, and devil weapons will be as sharp as fine Daedric and as light as Netch air sack. The magic lasts a short time, but long enough to punch through the toughest armor. Revere buys them direct from the Telvanni. You'll not find any cheaper in all of Valmora. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I just want a ceramic bowl. Yes, Revere should have a ceramic bowl. What will you barter for it? We're going to be doing a lot of bartering with this guy, so I'm going to invest some money in bribing him. Everyone can always use some extra coin. Yes, yes, that is true. Oh, I have this sword I want to sell you. Okay, and ceramic bowl. Okay, there we go. We just need one. We're not going into business selling bowls. Do you have anything else interesting while I'm here? I mean, yeah, the demon Tonto. How does that compare to what I have? It looks like it's about the same as what I have. Uh, five to six. Mine actually might be a little bit better, although I think it probably... Oh yeah, it's just Bound Dagger, so, yeah. Devil Spear! Devil Spear! Gives me Lightning Shield. Fiend Tonto. I don't know that any of these are really worth the money. What does he have in terms of armor? He has a Marisen Helm. I have the foods! Steve got home, so there was Pork Diablo and Taters. Ooh, sounds good. Taters sound really good about now. Netch Leather Greaves. How does this compare to what I have? Oh, what I have is better. Um, this is a light helm. This is, I think this is actually better than my Colovian Fur Helm. As sad as I would be to part with my Colovian Fur Helm. I mean, it, it would be nice to have something that has Restore Fatigue on it, maybe. Do I have the money? Oh yeah, I definitely have the money. Uh, okay. I think I might just go ahead and buy that. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Heightened Greaves. Are those better than what I have? No, they're the same. Okay. Alright. Let's see if I can bargain you down one. No, I can't. Okay. There we go. Well, thank you, Revere. I'm gonna go return this ceramic bowl to to Ajira, and hopefully she will reward me for my generosity. And by reward, I mean pay me back. Okay. Onward. Yeah, one thing that's different between this game and, um, I can't remember how Skyrim does it, but in Oblivion, uh, there's a little red hand symbol on things that are stealing. They don't really give you any indication what is stealing in this game, which Greetings. can be confusing. Do you require, good I don't know, maybe it's verisimilitude. Ajira must find her stolen reports! Yeah, but what about the ceramic bowl? Yeah, 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 take these ten drakes and go find Ajira ceramic bowl. Yeah, yeah, I got you one. Uh, yes, take it! It is a very good bowl, but stolen reports. Ajira needs her help very badly. Galbadir stole Ajira's reports on the properties of local mushrooms and flowers. Ajira knows Galbadir did not leave the Mage's Guild, so the reports must be nearby. Alright. So, I do know where the reports are. However, it's much more interesting to ask around. So let's let's see what uh what go ahead, I'm listening. Let's solve this mystery. Maybe rewrite history. I was about to come back to, what did I miss? In oh, right! Inventory management scans to Alexander Hamilton, yes. Mm. Incidentally, I should put on my new uh, helm. What you, what you missed, Beth, is that uh, I have a new hat. Which looks kind of ridiculous. I look like a, like a sand raider. Oh, well. Uh, and we're trying to solve a mystery, which is... Uh, which is, who's, where are Ajira's stolen reports? Okay, actually I want to know about the stolen reports. I 
should only tell someone I trusted. I saw Galbadir come in and take the reports. She put one of them under the dresser in the bedrooms just outside the door. I don't know what she did with the other one. Okay, well, let's go look there. I guess I'm someone she trusts. God Ooh, knows why. Tender. So I under the dresser, she said. Of my time. Oh, there it is. Ajira's flower report. Take that. I don't need to sneak. I think I was just sneaking because it was crouching. Hey, brother. Still not your brother. Oh, actually, I should ask some more people down here about the other stolen reports because there's only there's two of them. Hello, Outlander. Hello, banana I elf. Hope you won't take too much of my time. You have a question? Yes, my question is: Do you know anything about the stolen reports? Apparently, she does not. Although she does know about the Imperial cult. Balmora's Imperial Cult Shrine is outside of town to the southeast in Fort Moonmoth. Aldasi Thirothran is the priest in charge there. The altar there cures disease and poison, and they offer various other services as well. Alright, any rumors for me? People don't realize how deeply the Dark Elves resent the occupation. And yet you just told me about a Dark Elf who's a, uh, who's a priest of the Divines. Okay, go figure. Dren Pride! I did call her a Banana Elf. That is what I refer to Altmer as. Banana Elves. Maybe that's why she doesn't like me. Well, 66. She kind of likes me. The real powers behind the Vlalu Council, Orvis Dren. Hey, a Dren! And his Kamonatong syndicate nursed those ancient resentments. They haven't a chance of challenging Imperial authority now, but if the stability of the Empire were threatened, for example, if the legions were recalled because of some problem with the Septim succession, Dren and the Tong might move openly to drive the Imperials out of Morrowind. Yeah, so that's worth noting, is uh, the Drens in this game are actually kind of important. So the Drens are behind the Komonotong, which is kind of the native a competitor to the Thieves' Guild. And also the Duke of Ebonheart is Vidim Dren. So yeah, uh, it was not an accident that I picked that name when I was thinking of... Uh, when I was thinking of Fulanu's name originally, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure that's worse or better than the tall fur condom. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure either. Yes, Banana Elf apparently talks like Julia Child. I don't know, we just decided that today. Bosmer from the Baronx. And, uh... And Altmer talk like Julia Child. I don't make the rules. Okay, let's ask Sharn here if she knows about the stolen reports. No. Does she know about latest rumors? Yeah, yeah. Ajira made a bet with Galbadir. I knew that. Okay, maybe my brother over here knows something about uh, well, stolen reports. Do you have brother, what do you know about the stolen reports? I know I'm not your brother. I saw Galbadir carrying a scroll up to her desk, but I didn't think anything of it at the time. Mm. What was that? That's actually rather confusing, but I'm going to talk to Rannis about it. Because up to her desk could mean anywhere along this route, because her desk is up there, you may recall. So let's talk to Rannis about it. What do you want, Outlander? Uh, do you know anything about the stolen reports? It's an unfortunate situation. Back when I was an apprentice here, we had to find our own reports. Uphill, both ways, when a jealous rival stole them. But I suppose you want to know where the scroll is. I can't say for sure, but I saw Galbadir rummaging about among those sacks and barrels across from the stairway earlier. Alright then, let's check there. Ajira's mushroom report. Yes, let's take this baby. And with that, we have solved all of Ajira's problems for the day. But doesn't that make you kind of betraying the Dren by joining the Thieves' Guild? Well, you know, that is why I call my love with Inasi the love that dare not speak its name. It's a Romeo and Juliet thing. Also, you can't join the Kamonatong, so yeah. Moraine holds up signs saying, I don't know him. Elaine, isn't my brother such a kidder? He's fantastic. Oh, let's get a picture together. You'll find all the 
Let's yourself. take a selfie, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Stand this I way. See you. Hey, hey uh, Banana Elf, will you take a photo for us? Oh, I should take my hat off. Ah, that's not what I meant to do. You never were good at school picture day, were you? Look at the camera. Say scuttle. Oh, let's turn off. Say scuttle. The brothers dread. How, was there ever such a nice pair of brothers as the brothers Dren? I say not. Cheese! Well, no, you say Scuttle because Scuttle is what, what Dunmer. Oh, it doesn't have quite the same ring to it, though. Scuttle is basically che uh, cheese. It is cheese consistency product made from scraping fungus off of fungus beetles. Is, I believe, how it is made classy Anyone stuff. Oh, we need to go talk back, talk to Ajira now that we have her uh, her reports. That's right. We got distracted by our brother. Ajira, you magnificent bastard. I have your stolen reports. Yes, here they are. Yes, these are the reports Ajira needs. Ajira thanks you, Valendran. Ajira is your friend always. In fact, she's a hundred out of a hundred. Ajira worked very hard on these potions for you. Potion of fire shield, frost shield, lightning shield, and spell absorption. I'll take them. Excellent. I think I never did finish the selfie achievement. Wow. Moraine. Wait, did you just screenshot us? Delete it! Delete your Instagram right now. I see you. Hello. So, uh, in my D, I'm I'm running a D and D game, which is uh, running the Curse of Straw adventure, and uh, my players came up with good names for the. Uh, oh, I should have asked her if she had more duties for me. Came up for names of social of dating sites in uh, Barovia, Hello, which friend. is the land where it takes place. Go ahead. Um, so you. one of them is Barovia, uh, and the other one is Spooky. Is it uh, so yeah, I, I fully expect to hear you come up with names for Tamriel or Moro in specific uh, social media sites. All right, do you have any more duties for me? Ajira knows many secrets, but they're not yet for friend Valendran. Speak with Ajira again when you are a warlock. Rannis Athri is here, may have duties for you, but Ajira does not like Rannis much. Maybe you should speak with Ajira's good friend Edwina Elbert at the Guild of Mages in Aldrun. I'll take that under advisement. Aldrun is a bit of a trip. Uh, so we will probably just talk to Rannis. Although we will do the quest that drove me crazy. Which I think the next quest is the one that drove me absolutely crazy when I played this originally. I can spare a few moments if you care to talk. Yes. Uh, I heard you might have duties for me. Actually, before I do that, uh, am I ready for advancement yet? Yes, I'm now officially Valaine Dren, the journeyman. Uh, about those duties. I need someone to convince an ex Telvani to join us. While you're there, you can collect Monway's guild dues. Wait, we have to pay guild dues? Monway has failed to pay her dues for several years, and she now owes us over 2,000 septums. Allegedly, she's researching something in Punabi, near, that's a name, near Lorar Berdot. Bariloth in Sulapund. Those sure are words. If you can convince her to pay the dues, I will split them with you. Otherwise, kill her. Well, okay. Uh, and, and why do you want this ex Telvani to join us? The Telvani's name is Lorar Bariloth. He's in Sulapund. Okay, so you're saying one of them is in Punabi and one of them is Sulapund in Sulapund and they're near each other. If you can't convince him to join, kill him. While you're there, collect the guild dues from Manwe. She is in Panabi nearby. These are impossible to find, by the way. Um, now, where is Sulapund, anyway? It's further along the road from Punabi. Thank you! Sulapund is just before the fork in the path. Okay, so where is Punabi? Leave Balmora, going towards Fort Moonmoth to the east, cross the old Dwemer Bridge just north of the fort that leads into Molag Amr. Go past the Dwemer Ruin and follow the winding trail east until you reach a lake. You will see Miranda's to your south. I will mark this stronghold on your map. 
Head north from Miranda's on the path between the hills. Punabi will be on your right, and Sulapan is further up the path on the left. Just follow the signs to Mulagmar. Okay. Uh, she said she would map some, mark something on the map. What is... Actually... <laughs> Crypt currency. <laughs> yes. Kwama mines. Really, Kwama is the name of the, the crypt, uh, cryptocurrency, and they're mining it there. <laughs> I mean, John Lee! <laughs> And what do you mean by the Molag Amir? I'm new here. It's the rocky, uninhabited wilderness interior of the south of southeastern Vardenfell. There are only a few paths in the area, and travel is hazardous because of the lava pools. All right, be aware of lava. Okay, let's see if she actually mapped it, oh, marked anything on my map because she says that, but oh, it's way over here. She's not showing me. That's interesting. Usually when you mouse over these, they will show them to you. But I believe that's Miranda's there. That's interesting. Why is it not showing them to me? Huh. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, what she doesn't tell you is that the easiest way to get there is just to go to Surin and go north, I believe. But uh, she wants to make things more difficult for you, I guess. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, things are actually acting weird. I don't have a cursor either. Um. Excuse me for a minute. I'm gonna save and come back in because I'm having some weirdness with the game. Okay. Please hold. Do, 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 do. Man, I can't even hum the girl from Yimpathiva. I'm so musically inept. So I believe that a lot of the concept art that shows up on these these loading screens was done by Michael Kirkbride. I, I could be wrong about that. I could be misremembering, but... Or maybe it's just some of it. No, I don't want to look at the credits. I don't care. There we go. Let's load it up. Load it up. Yeah, it's a little buggy tonight. Oh. But considering I've had so few bugs overall in this game. Okay. So right now we have... Uh, we should go back to the Fighter's Guild, actually. To tell her that we finished that task for her. May I what the hell? You? This is that Hold It mod again. I think this mod is seriously broken. Because they're always just like holding shit in random positions. What's this all about? Uh, I helped. I did the thing with the cave rats. So you killed the rats. Not bad. For you. You ready for more orders? Sure. A local egg mine has problems with egg poachers. And you're going to solve those problems. By the way, egg mines are a thing in this game. Um, they are where Kwama, uh hang out uh <laughs> we will s kwama are kind of like social ant-like creatures uh we'll find out about them soon i don't think they came up a ton when i was playing eso morrowin so uh you may not be familiar with them but uh egg poachers tell me more about them yes egg poachers may sound silly but those kwama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province tell us how you really feel Dram Barrow, the owner of Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers, Sevilla Orthan and Danila Vallas, are former egg miners and long-time local troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when the poachers are dead. Shulk Egg Mine, huh? The mine is a short distance southwest of Belmora and the bluffs west of the Odai River. The old suspension bridge across the Odai is just southeast of the, southeast of the mine entrance. Follow the river south of Belmora until you'll see the bridge overhead. You're not afraid of a little swim, are you? I don't know why she says that, because you don't actually have to swim to get there. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, am I ready for advancement yet? Fighters Guild recognizes you, Valaine Dren. You're now Valaine Dren the Apprentice. Hey, Apprentice. 
Okay. Let's see if my gear needs any repairing. I don't think it does, but we'll check. Okay. What Bye. brings you here? And ahead, okay. Listen. So I have a quest from her. I have a quest from the Mages Guild. Um I think I am going to go I'm going to go case out case the joint for uh this diamond heist, although I suspect I'm not actually going to go get the diamond from there because that's probably the hardest place to get the diamond from. So this up ahead is, I believe, the Hualu, uh, I don't know what you call it, the seat of House Hualu. These scales here are, are the symbol for House Hualu. And if you've watched me play ESA, you may remember that, uh, that, uh, I actually have a symbol like that hanging on the wall of Falanu's house. I mean, beside, you know, the bajillion shrines to Vivek, that is one of the more memorable things about her house. Actually, no, it's not even in the top ten. So yeah, we were going here because we would like to join House Lalu. Because Dren is traditionally associated with House Lalu. And, you know, I'm related to the Duke. Hello. You're a new face. So what can I tell you about Balmora? I like to swap the latest rumors when there's something juicy enough to gossip about. Or maybe if you have a little secret, maybe I have one to trade. Yeah, tell me about some rumors. These outlanders won't be happy until slavery is outlawed. Our plantations depend on slaves, mostly down south in Dress District, but here in the Ascadian Isles too. It's our right to have slaves. By law and custom, it's none of their damn business. Why is business a link? If you want to talk business, speak with Nileno Dorvain. All right. Uh, can you tell me anything about the Kamana Tong? I've heard bad things. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Okay. What assistance do you need? I think she is the lady, Nileno Duran. Greetings. I keep business going here in Balmora while the Halalu counselors are away, which is most of the time. All right. Uh, I tell me more about these Halalu counselors. There's a recent edition of the Yellow Book of Great House Halalu. It lists the current Lalu counselors and their residents. I might tell you more for a small consideration. She wants to be bribed. Fifty drakes. I did not realize the cost of bribing, uh, bribery had, had gone up. The one you should speak with is Crassius Curio. His manor is in the Lalu Plaza in Vivec. Of all the counselors, he is the one most likely to listen to your requests, whatever they may be. Uh, I want to join have conferred upon me the great honor of interviewing those who wish to become members of our illustrious house. Do you want to join us? I, I do. Yes, you are a worthy candidate, and we accept anyone who wants to join, even outlanders. Are you interested in joining? Uh, yes. Very well. You are now a member of House Lalu. When you are ready, we can discuss business and advancement in House Lalu. Bribery inflation is out of control. I know, right? I mean, I heard there was corruption in Vardenfell, but I didn't realize it was to this extent. I'll have to ha have to write a letter to Mother about this. Maybe she can uh, write write a letter to uh, my my relatives in 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 the Dren. All right, tell me about business. Just a minute, Valen Dren. Say that again. Business. How fortunate! Your voice sounds almost like the Redoran Felsen. Sithandis, who died, um, just recently. Would you be willing to disguise yourself as Fel uh, Felsen Sithandis and get orders from House Redoran, and then deliver the orders to me? Well, this sounds sketchy. I'm in. Yes. Good. Take this helm and speak with Naminda at the Redoran Council. Take a silt strider to Aldrun, then look under Scar. When she asks what you want, say you're an orphan of Arnesia. Naminda should give you a coded message to deliver. Bring that coded message to me instead. Uh, what does it mean to be an orphan of an Arnesia? Yes, that is the code phrase you should use when speaking with Naminda. Make sure you wear, wear the helm I gave you. She gave me a native Gajulan bone, mel bone mold helm. Okay. Lalanda Omani. I don't know who that is. She must be one of the counselors. Omani is an island east of Vivek. 
Okay, these must be the names of the various counselors. I'll take a look at that. So she gave me a book which has a list of all the Lalu counselors. Volanda Omani, Dram Barrow, Crassius Curio, Ingling Half Troll, Navina Ules. Council Affairs of Note. King Klalu Athen Lethen, High Counselor and Lord of Morrowind, grants relief to merchants complaining of high tariffs on imported alcoholic beverages. I thought Helseth was the king. Could be they gave something else. Council is pleased to report a reduction in the incidence of theft and violent crime in the Lalu House districts, thanks to the vigilance of the legions and stern sentences by the magistrates. The council laments the unfortunate disturbances of the public peace resulting from the increasi increasingly aggressive competition between the Thieves' Guild and the Kamonatong for control of the black markets. Mother will hear of this. Yeah, it's his greatest threat. A minor tax revolt in Valmora was suppressed without undue harm to life and property. The council sent deputations to the Duke to express their concerns over the high tax rates and the injurious effect of high tariffs on trade. All right, scintillating stuff, my lady. Scintillating stuff. Guess we'll look around. Gulane's architecture. Hello. Is there something you need? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Tell me about Klaus Lalu. Yes, we both belong to it. Are you here to discuss business? Okay, he doesn't have anything useful. I should probably put my hands away. Is there something Hello. I can do for you? You're a new face. Yes, I am. Uh, do you have anything interesting to talk about? You surely do not. All right. Well, maybe you can tell me about the Kamonatong. The Kamonatong is the old criminal syndicate here in Morrowind. And as everyone around here knows, there's a gang war between the Thieves' Guild and the Kamonatong. In Balmora, the Kamonatong hangs out over at the corner club called the Council Club. Watch yourself if you go in there. They're not very nice people. Yeah, so I've heard. Uh, let's go upstairs. Oh, this place just goes on and on. Go ahead, Outlander. Hello. What do you need? How can I serve you? Uh, what do you have to barter? Let's see. Actually, what do you have for training? Short blade, light armor, marksman. Eh, not really interested in... I mean, short blade is okay, but... Eh, I might as well trade short blade. I'd rather train spear. Oh, I can't trade it above the governing attribute, so I can't, actually. Uh, what do you have to barter? Eh. Oh, if I wanted to buy probes and lockpicks, I could do it here. Apprentice's lockpick. Journeyman lockpick. Um, I think I'm good for now. But it's good to know that I can get that here. Can you tell me anything about the Council Club? It's across from the Silt Strider. Well, great. Okay, I'm not going to talk to everybody in House Lalu. I have no idea what he just said. The Anticipations. Constellations of Prayer. Nothing interesting there. What do you have for trading? Same things. Maybe I'll try sneak. Yes, so Alright. What do you want? So I believe in Oblivion and maybe Skyrim? I don't know. Uh, they you can train um, up to five times a day with cash. There's no limit in Morrowind, so as long as you have the cash you can keep that. training. So your name is Valaine Dren and you're new here. And my name is Falvel Arnim, and I don't mind answering questions. Oh, please tell me more about Morrowind lore. You should know how the Kamonatong feels about killing. According to the criminal customs of the Kamonatong, killing is justifiable on any practical grounds. In particular, justifiable if you can get away with it, and it serves your purposes. Oh, so they're like the drow. Killing is useful to educate and intimidate others, especially when brutal, cruel, and arbitrary. Killing is neither sinful nor dishonorable, but may be imprudent or wasteful. Well, at least they, uh... At least they think that. Uh, I've heard stuff about abolitionists, too. It's the law of Morwen. Slavery is legal. The Empire doesn't like it, but the Emperor signed the armistice. Uh, somebody already said this. I'm not saying I disagree in theory, but it's the law. Okay. 
Yeah, you don't have anything very interesting. Okay. So we've joined House Lalu and they want me to go to Alderaan and impersonate somebody. The Fighters Guild wants me to go deal with some egg poachers. The Mages Guild wants me to go find, has given me incredibly confusing I instructions to go find somebody in a place called Punabi. Uh, and I believe I'm going to go case the joint, as they say. That is what the kids say, right? You'd tell I'm really good at this. I believe that the jeweler I'm looking for... Or maybe she's an alchemist? I don't remember. Paste in fine clothing. Nalkaria, alchemist. She is an alchemist. Alright. Greetings, you Nalkaria. Have attention. So, I'm not super interested... See, the diamonds are, like, right here. So, it would be very difficult to nick these. Also, there's, like, a guard standing right here. Making it even more difficult. Alright. Is there something you need? Let me see if there's anything up here. Can I... Okay. I'm gonna save. Let's see if I can, uh... See what's in these chests. It's gold. I managed to get away with that one. Come on. Ah. No, I don't want to sleep in the bed. We know what happens when you sleep in beds. Bad things, that's what. Yeah, he can't see me. Well, more gold. No diamonds. Let's see if I can open this small chest here. I like stealing stuff. Aha! Diamonds! Three of them. Yes! I did the thing. I am a badass. Okay. Hello, who are you? What's your story? Star gel? You're a new face. Yeah, tell me the latest rumors. Jelnia Ralal, publican of the Eight Plates Corner Club here in Belmora, is hiring entertainers to amuse her patrons. She's looking for jesters, dancers, drummers, jugglers, and singers who play the lute. Do I amuse you? Do I look like an entertainer to you, sir? I am no slave. The nerve. Mother will hear of this. Okay. So we've done that, so we might as well go back to the Thieves Guild and tell them, hey, I got you diamonds. It was easy. Much easier than I was expecting, actually. And it is what time? 7 p.m. So it will be a productive day of walking around Balmora. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Oh yeah, I should show you what this is over here that's glowing. It is, is added it, in by a mod, I believe. Can I steal from these? That is totally not a hangout for the thieves. What's this all about? I'm listening. Hey, sugar lips. I have found you a diamond. 
You have a diamond for Habasi? Yes, here it is. Yes, a diamond. Habasi will take care of everything. Habasi cannot pay you until Habasi's friend pays Habasi. But Habasi has this potion to give you. Exclusive invisibility. Uh, so how about advancement so I'm no longer a toad? Congratulations, Valandren. You are now Valandren the Wet Ear. Well, that's better, I think. Uh, how about any other jobs? Abasi wants the key to Nerano Manor. And how does one get this key? Abasi wants the key to Nerano Manor. Downstairs manors are rarely locked, but Abasi wants to go upstairs secretly. Who has the key? Andres Nerano has a key. Habasi thinks Nerano's servant, so Vertrandal at the Council Club has a key. Uh, I'm not sure I want to go into the Council Club. I've heard bad things. Although, theoretically, it's it's my family. But, you know, family dinners, always awkward. Tell me about this Andres Nerano. He lives near Nelkaria's shop. His home is in the middle of the street. And how about Sovar Trandel? He spends all his time in gold at the council club over by the Silt Strider. Okay. Good to know. What is it, friend? Alright. Okay, so. Reminder, we have that quest to steal a key. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? We probably have time to do that. And we also have a quest from the Fighters Guild, which is to deal with an egg mine. And we also have a quest from the Mages Guild, which is to go shake down some people you for a guild speak. dues. Do you get the other two diamonds to keep? I think so. I think I do keep them. So that's not bad. I can go sell them for a nice pretty penny. They are alchemy ingredients, but honestly at this point they're not super useful to me, so I may just sell them to our friend Revere. Hello, Revere. Oh. Why is the icon for sweet roll? It looks almost like the icon for a ring. Huh. Anyway. Have some diamonds. Uh, yeah. If you could bump that up a little bit, I'd be very appreciative. Thank you. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Okay. So. I suppose we have a little bit of time before we have to turn in for the night, so let's go see if we can rob this guy. So I think if we go into his manor, we can actually pickpocket him for the key, or maybe find the key laying around somewhere. Dunmer? Uh, that's what I am. So they said his shop is near Nelkaria's. I want to say it's this one here. Yes, it is. Hello. Yes, Outlander. What a visitor you... and an Outlander too. What brings you to Nerano Manor? Uh, sh I just want to know about the about Nerano Manor. Tell me all about it. Yes, this is Nerano Manor. Can I do something for you? Why are you here anyway? Uh, rumors. Tell me about the rumors. I heard Bolvan Venom was having an affair with the wife of one of the other counselors. That's so. Uh, and you are Andres Nerano, is that correct? Yes, I'm him. What do you want? Uh, but tell me some Morrowind lore. Though some Dunmer are Imperial cult initiates, most of them are also members of the Tribunal Temple. Religious passions like the Tribunal Temple are the exception in the uh, Empire. Dark elves who join the Imperial cult are usually more moderate and tolerant. Yeah. Sure, Jan. Let's see if I can manage this. Do I actually have anything in the way of a chameleon spell? I do have that exclusive invisibility, but I seem to recall invisibility only works while you're standing still. Ooh, I do have the standard potion of shadow. That might be useful. Here's the invisibility. Okay, I can try this. There's no one else here except him. So. I should probably wait for my fatigue to come back. 
my crappy fatigue I, potion I made. Okay. I should probably save before I do this. Or bad things what will happen. What do you think of Balmora, Outlander? So far, it's been very profitable, is what I have to say about Balmora. Okay, turn your back, dude, so I can steal from you. It's just polite. It's just basic fairness. I don't know which of these is going to help. He just has a lot of gold, but I'll take it. Oh, shit! Okay! I'm sorry, dude. I'm a bad person, and I should feel bad. Maybe this is why I ended up in prison. Is he hitting me with a bag? I think he's hitting me with a bag. I'm a bad person. I'm sorry, dude. Stop, stop, stop. Maybe he has the key on him. He does. Look, I got it. I got all kinds of good things now. Extravagant left glove. Farmer sack. Extravagant belt. What am I wearing? An ex expensive belt, belt, but not an extravagant belt. An extravagant sapphire. I'm going to hold on to that. So one thing, if you get into enchanting in this game, one thing worth knowing is that the better the quality of the item you're trying to enchant, like the base quality, uh, the better of an enchantment it is. So something like that is actually kind of hard to come by. Extravagant shirt. Sure, I will replace my expensive shirt with an extravagant shirt. Extravagant ring. Can I wear these as well as my gauntlets? I don't know. Expensive pants. Oh, I will replace my common pants with those. Sorry, dude. I feel kind of bad, but not that bad. Okay. Well, now I'm much better dressed, if nothing else. Okay, let's see if I can wear these. No, I think those take off my gauntlets. Oh. Okay. Yep, disposing of a corpse was never so easy. I don't know if this is how they wanted me to uh, to get that, but here we are. They did not specify. Orders unclear, dick stuck in ceiling fan. <laughs> Poor dude left in his boxers. Now, we disposed of him. Much easier to dispose of a corpse in this world, clearly. I, I'm imagining that this is like that uh, Ginger Dren here is probably fairly horrified by what he has just done because he doesn't see strike me as the the sort of person who uh, who does this every day. He's kind of terrible at this actually, uh, and he really wished it hadn't come to this. Not that that's going to stop him from stealing this guy's stuff, but uh, he figures he might as well make it worth it while he's here, right? Is there anyone upstairs? Is there an upstairs? There, yes, there is. Dear mother, today I murdered someone. Zero out of ten would not recommend. There isn't anyone up here, is there? I like stealing stuff. Oh, The House of Troubles is an interesting book from a lore perspective. Maybe I will read that for you. Since apparently people actually like me reading stuff, which I, I did not realize. I have to step away, so if Elaine dies or gets lost, please let me know when I return. So far, so good. Okay, the House of Troubles. 
So who amongst you knows what the House of Trouble is? Let's see, we stole some stuff. Yep, that's, that's it so far. Among the ancient ancestral spirits who accompanied St. Veloth and the Chimer into the Promised Land of Morrowind, the four Daedra Lords, Malakath, Merun's Dagon, Molagval, and Sheogoroth, are known as the Four Corners of the House of Troubles. These Daedra Lords rebelled against the Council and admonition of the Tribunal, causing great kin strife and confusion among the clans and great houses. Malakath, Merun's Dagon, Molagbal, and Sheogoroth are holy in that they serve the role of obstacles during the testing. Through time, they have sometimes become associated with local enemies like the Nords, Akaviri, or Mountain Orcs. Malakath is the reanimated dung that was Trinimac. Malakath is a weak but vengeful god. The Dark Elves say he is Malak, the god king of the D Orcs. He tests the Dunmer for physical weakness. Molagbal is, in Morrowind, the king of rape. I did not make that up. He tries to upset the bloodlines of houses and otherwise ruin the Dunmer gene pool. A race of monsters said to live in Molagamur are the result of his seduction of Vivek during the previous era. Sermon 14 again. I like to think they mean cliff raisers. Sheogoroth is the king of madness. He always tests the Dunmer for mental weakness. In many legends, he is called upon by one Dunmer faction against another. In half of these stories, he does not betray those who called him, further confusing the issue of his place in the scheme of things. Can he help us? Is he not an obstacle? He is often associated with the fear other races have of the Dunmer, especially those who, like the Empire, might prove as useful allies. We've had a reading from the House of Troubles. So far, yes. Uh, Mehrin's Dagon is the god of destruction. He is associated with natural dangers like fire, earthquakes, and flood. To some, he represents the inhospitable land of Morrowind. He tests the Dunmer, the Dunmer will to survive and persevere. The worship of these four malevolent spirits is against the law and practice of the temple. Oh, hello, there's a cat up on top of my bookshelf. However, the Four Corners seldom fail to discover those greedy, reckless, or mad enough to serve them. If you, if you recall, uh, the one who was in the bedroom in the inn in Pelagiad that Anasi, my girlfriend, told us about, uh, was, uh, was, she said he was a worshiper of Mehrin's Dagon. So one of the corners, of, four corners of the House of Troubles. By ancient custom, temple law, by ancient temple law and custom, and also by imperial law, the lives of witches and warlocks are forfeit, and imperial garrisons join ordinators and buoyant armagers of the temple in tracking down and destroying these foul covens in the wilderness refuges and ancient ruins where they conceal their profane worships. Oh my. All right. This is a box, which I'm going to open. Aelet Hide and Black Anther. I'll take it. Uh, lock level 60. Can I actually get this one? Looks like it just goes out to Belmora, so I'm not really sure it's worthwhile, but I'm kind of curious why it's so... Uh, do you see the open door? It only opens 50 points, though. This opens 40 to 60 points. I don't think it's worthwhile, though. Oh. No, I have the key, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Screw that. Don't waste your time, Lise. Oh, he has a nice bed. Maybe I'll sleep here. Ah, I do need to unlock his closet, though. Maybe he has some skeletons in here. Oh, he has more wonderfully extravagant clothes. Do I have... <gasps> Another robe! Yes, look at me. I am fashion. <gasps> I have a selection of robes. Oh my goodness. I can't handle how exciting this is. I'm just taking all his clothes. That's it. It is now canon that Valaine is a clothes horse. If you sleep there, will you get arrested? No, because there aren't any guards or anybody here to witness it. Yamuz. I've never even heard of that. More alcohol, though, basically. I like how he just has, like, a whole thing. He has, like, a liquor cabinet by his bed. Of course he does. 
This one is trapped, so I will need a probe. Let me see if I can actually open this one up. I could be here a while. There we go. all these goodies. Scroll of Lasting Light. Okay, I'll take. Another stupid grinder. I'm gonna go sell all this stuff to Revere. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Anyway. Okay, so my current plan is I'm gonna cast Feather on myself because I, I am over encumbered. And I'm going to go sell some shit to Revere. My good pal. Good ol' Revere. Sarioni's Sermons. Oh yeah, he's the current Arch Cannon. That's still over encumbered. Okay, I can't take all of this shit with me. I'll, I'll pass on this pitcher. It's the books that are heavy, though. Still over encumbered. Oh, well, I need to cast Feather again. Let's get the hell out of here. And now I don't have enough Magicka, so... Oh, well. I'm not doing real good at this whole being a thief thing. I, oh, I picked up the stupid grinder. I'll get rid of that thing. And the farmer sack. We need a fashion show. They're hard to see in the tiny image. I will. Okay, I will do a fashion show as soon as I do some uh, selling of stuff. Okay. Right now, I'm just dealing with the fact that I'm over encumbered with all the stuff I stole from this guy. Both mentally and physically. And emotionally. But he's going to go drown his sorrows in selling and making money. He, he consoles himself by saying that, that the guy was probably corrupt if the Thieves Guild was after him. Maybe he was the guy that Anasi wanted me to kill. Didn't she have somebody who was causing her trouble or something? Let me see. Did I mention Anasi is my girlfriend? I've offered to take care of the bad person who has threatened Anasi. The bad person is Darren Adrin, a dark elf and a Kamanatong bigwig. Anasi says he has found... Oh, right, he's in Narmok. Never mind. I don't even know where Narmok is. We have many robes. Yeah, we totally... We murdered somebody and we took his clothes. All right, we're going to our friend... Ravi Hello, Ravir. Hello. Please buy my sketchily acquired goods. So, uh, I don't know. Should I keep the fancy shirts and stuff? I feel like maybe I should. They might come in handy. Although right at the moment, not so much. I can show you the robes in a moment. Uh, I could get rid of the common pants I had, though, definitely. He had so many fancy clothes. I have to share. Okay. Ooh, the cantatas of Vivek. I want to check those out. The True Noble's Code. The True Noble's Code. Don't murder people for the keys to their house. That is probably one of them. I should probably hold on to the yellow book in case I actually need it to find out where certain people are at some point. Wow, all of that's only 164. I 
need to hold on to this booze in case... Oh, it's really freaking heavy is the thing. Sell this one. I'll just keep one of each. So I can say, fuck it, do Maz tea. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to these extravagant ones because they will be very nice for enchanting someday. Someday. And I kind of want to hold on to my Colovian for... Uh, I can get another one if I want it. Okay. Just built. Alright, so we, we were going to do a fashion show, right? Because I am so fashion. Alright. See if I can get him up to 275. There we go. Robes befit Villain, or he thinks so at least. He's done a ridiculous amount of retail therapy recently. Yeah, he's definitely doing some retail therapy. Alright, well, let's take off the dumb hat, first of all. So, this is one of the sets of new robes he got. That he stole from the guy who had a closet full of nice robes. Um... This is another one of them. This one's kind of interesting, although I have no idea what's going on with the chest. It looks like he's being attacked by an octopus. Um, there's another one. Is it this one? No, that's the one I had before. Not this one. This is another one. I like this one a lot. I mean, it goes well with his luscious hair and his goofy... Uh, Shoulder pads. There are also some shirts, although I will have to take off my robes for you to see those. And possibly my cuirass? Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. So, this is the shirt he has on currently. Um, and... There's an extravagant shirt. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Work it. Extravagant gloves. He can't really wear these because they conflict with, like... With the armor he's wearing, but, uh... They are pretty fantastic. So I should probably actually sell those because I'm not going to be able to enchant them usefully. Um, here's another nice... Oh no, that's a robe. Never mind. There were some other nice shirts. I think that's the one I had on. No, no, that was the one I had on. This is another one. Eh. This is definitely, uh, my favorite of the extravagant shirts. Yeah. Okay, let's put his robe and everything back on. That one's also nice. But I think I like the other one better. Um, and put his armor back on as well. Can't be without his armor. Okay, I'm probably forgetting something. I'm holding on to the extravagant stuff for later enchanting. Shoes I can probably sell though because they will conflict with armor. Put his ridiculous hat back on. Put his armor back on. Hello, OG. Nice to see you again. We're we're having a fashion show here because I accidentally killed a guy, and and then I raided his closet. Red looks good. Hella shoulders. Yeah, the shoulders are are uh, are something. So technology wise, we can conclude that they have jacquard looms at this point in time. Yeah, that's actually that's a really good point. Um, but I assume that the fabric is, like, you know, probably made from insects in some way or another, because Dunmer. You know, as dumb as the helmet looks, it actually kind of goes with this look. So, I'll take it. So, yeah, I have a few more things to sell to Revere. So, how are you tonight, OG Blaze? I think that's everything. 
that I'm not holding on to. Will you give me up to 100? Oh, he can't even afford it. I've sold him too many things. I'll have to go to somebody else with my stuff. Cancel. With my ill-gotten gains. There's gotta be like a pawnbroker or something. I think there is a pawnbroker over here. Which will generally take anything. So, uh, yeah. Mulane has killed for the first time. And he, he is experiencing a lot of guilt over it, so he is doing some retail therapy. Except his retail therapy is selling stuff and, and, and making money off of it. Off the stuff he stole. Here, have this rat. Nobody wants it. Okay. Saryoni's sermons. I'm also interested in that one. Okay. Oh, I didn't bribe her. Well, I'm not going to go to her very often, what so... Do you want? It is... Oh, it's midnight. Uh, so... I am going to go back to the Mages Guild to have a little nap. Actually, you know what? I deserve better. I killed that guy fair and square. I'm going to sleep in his bed. See if I don't. It is a very nice bed, and I deserve it. I'm worth it. Also, maybe it will assuage my guilt. I mean, not likely, but... This is the upstairs entrance, I believe. Oh, I should have turned that quest in, too. Oh, well. Those are the books I left there, because I couldn't carry them. This is the closet I raided. Oh, did I look in the... I did not look in the chest drawers, did I? More clothes! Another, an exquisite robe. And is exquisite better than extravagant? Uh, that's a good question. It looks like it. But I don't like this one. It just doesn't look right on him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the extravagant one. Uh, more shirts more exquisite pants. Ooh, I don't have exquisite pants. I will take exquisite pants. An exquisite belt. And expensive pants. Okay. I am now the snazziest dressed terrible assassin in all of the land. Alright, let's let's, I'll close the door. Just for my peace of mind. And let's take a nap. Treat yourself, Elaine. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, now that the guy is dead, I could just sort of, like, leave my shit here. You know? Why don't I do that? <laughs> I wonder if it's safe to leave stuff in containers here. I don't actually know if containers respawn in this game. Does anyone know that? Let me look that up. Because I will just take over this guy's house. Morrowind... Do dressers respawn? Containers. Organic and respawning. There exists no containers which respawn their contents and are not organic. Virtually any container is a safe storage place in the sense that no items will disappear from them after a few days. Okay. So we're, we're safe to put stuff in here. That is not true in, like, Skyrim, for example. So I'm going to put his, um... His new wardrobe in here. Expensive, I'm going to sell. But I'm keeping extravagant and, uh... Uh, I'll hold on to them all. I'm worth it. The reason, as I think I explained, that I'm saving this stuff is for enchanting purposes later on. Now, I may not use it all, but we shall see. Uh, 
And am I, in fact... We will come back to these books. I do want to read them at some point in time. Okay. Am I, in fact, wearing all the clothing I should be? It appears so. I like that you can have clothing as well as armor, because I believe in, like, other games, it's, it's one or the other. But isn't he fantastic? Look at this. What a beautiful murderer he is. Come on, for the camera, murderer. There we go. Once you take something, you don't, th I, I don't think they respawn once you take something out. Ooh, we upgraded to homeowner. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to become a homeowner in this game is to murder things. There's actually, uh, if you go a little bit farther along in the Hlalu quest, there's somebody that you do not murder, but he is dead already. Um, and, uh, he, uh, that is, that is, um, ugh, I ran out of words. I don't know what happened to me there. More things that I dropped in my, uh, oh, I need to <laughs> get some weight off of me thing. Okay. So we need to go back to the Thieves Guild. Um, and give them this key. And I don't know if they will be appalled that I apparently killed somebody for it. I am level 2. That's right. I was thinking maybe I'll wait till level 3 to start the main quest, but I can go ahead and start it now. Um, after I turn this in, of course. And I still need... I probably need to sell some more stuff to somebody because I think Revere does not have any cash right now. So we are walking over to the corner club, which is the Thieves Guild. Hello, Ordinator. Hello, my fellow Alm CV. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you Nothing mean? going on here. No murder. No larceny. Thank you for the follow, Vagrant Samurai. Welcome to Lee's Plays. This is Morrowind Remastered. Uh, we are playing Morrowind uh, with using the open Morrowind engine and lots of graphics mods. Okay, sugar lips. I do. I have a key for you. Does this mean I'm not going to be able to get in if I give her the key? Dang it. Habasi likes this key, yet, but Habasi hears that Andres Nerano is dead. This makes Habasi's job very hard, and Habasi does not want to pay you. Oh, fuck. What the hell? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and you won't even give me the key back. God damn you! There are those who can take care of this. We can explain more to you about that later. Abasi has the key. You know this. Why ask Abasi more about the key? Rajid, no good friend of Habasi, stole the Lemur artifact from the guild. Go to Fat Legs drop off in Laod. If Rajid won't give you the Dwemer artifacts, find them and return them to Habasi. You must bring Habasi a dwarven goblet, a dwarven bowl, and a Dwemer tube. Well, conveniently, I'm about to probably go into a uh, Dwemer ruin, so maybe I will find them there, and I won't have to murder anybody. This pisses me off. So far, I've done two jobs for the Thieves Guild, and they have not paid me. Cr who says crime doesn't pay? Because, oh, well, I guess crime doesn't pay. Do you want something from me? You've got the better. I'm very cross now. I murdered somebody for nothing, and now I don't even have the key to the manor. I really should have thought this through. Although I suspect Valaine often has the problem of not thinking things through. Well, beyond measure. Okay. Oh, we were going to talk to Caius. We were actually going to start the main quest. Like, I've killed a few people now, Caius. What I can handle what you got. So, if you're thinking to yourself, 
the the lost count for Lise is remarkably small. That's mostly because I have this game memorized at this point. <laughs> but no, we will get to stuff where I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Well met, Outlander. What is it? Hello, shirtless Jean-Luc Picard. Uh, yeah, let's discuss my orders. I think I'm ready for them. Bring it! Alright, ready for orders? Good. Go talk to Hasfat and Tablis at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nereverine secret cult and the Sixth House secret cult. You'll have to do him a favor first. Probably an ugly favor, but do it. Then get the information from Antablis and report back to me. Uh, okay. By the way, Hasfa is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand it. That's what I always say. Alright, uh, tell me more. Do you know anything about the Nereverine secret cult that you're asking about? Some Dunmer believe that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, will one day unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and reestablish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven nations. They call this orphan and outcast the Nerevarin, and say the Nerevarin will be a reincarnation of the long-dead Dunmer general and first counselor, Lord Indor Indoril Nerevar. I see. And how about the sixth house? A trusted informant says they're a secret cult associated with some strange events recently. And more important, my informant thinks these recent disturbances are related in some way to the Nerevarine prophecies. Nerevarine prophecies. I have no idea how you're supposed to say that. I've never known. And ESO Morrowind only made it even more confusing. So tell me more about the prophecies. The illiterate Ashlanders pass down their customs and history in the form of poetic verses. Among the things they preserve in verse are the dreams and prophetic visions of their wise women, in particular the verses that foretell the coming of the Nereverine. But I don't know much about it. That's why I'm s sending you to find out. Alright. Well, I can do that. So, what else do I need to know about Hasfet and Tablis? He's drill master of the Belmar Fighters Guild. He's lived in Morrowind all his life, knows the natives, and talks a lot with backcountry mercenaries. He thinks of himself as a scholar, and he's particularly interested in Dwemer ruins and artifacts. Okay. Alright then. Uh, and Morrowind history you said something about. Jeanette Seat's little book is a good place to start. I have a copy here. Take it. You might also look for On Morrowind, the Imperial Province, by Aaron Manwe of Sunhold. Sunhold is another city that I did not know was a real place until uh, ESO. Uh, Sunhold is a city in uh, Somerset, I believe. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go talk to Hasfat and Tablis. Let's look at this book he gave us, though. I have a few different books here. Short History of Morrowind by Jeanette Seat. Would we like a dramatic reading? <coughs> From the introduction. Led by the legendary prophet Veloth, the ancestors of the Dunmer, exiles from Altmer cultures in present-day Somerset Isle, came to the region of Morrowind. In earliest times, the Dunmer were harassed or dominated by Nord Sea Raiders. When the scattered Dunmer tribes consolidated into the predecessors of the modern Great House clans, they threw out the Nord oppressors and successfully resisted further incursions. The ancient ancestor worship of the tribes was in time superseded by the monolithic tribunal temple theocracy, and the Dunmer grew into a great nation called Resdane. Resdane was the last of the provinces to submit to Tiber Septum, Tiber Septum being Talos, by the way. Uh, like Black Marsh, it was never successfully invaded, and was peacefully incorporated by treaty into the empire as the province of Morrowind. Almost four centuries after the coming of the Imperial Legions, Morrowind is still occupied by Imperial Legions, with a figurehead Imperial King, though the Empire has reserved most functions of the traditional local government to the ruling councils of the Five Great Houses. This explains why Martins and my old Nord character from 20 years ago was not liked here. I mean, they don't like any Outlanders, to be honest. But yeah, the Nords have tried to invade uh, Morrowind before. Okay, on Vardenfell District. 
In third era 414. By the way, we're in like third era 427 or so right now, I think. Uh, Vardenfell territory. Previously a temple preserve under imperial protection, which actually they retconned with uh, ESO. Um, they don't usually retcon things, but that is one thing they retconned, because you can go to Vardenfell in the second era. Uh, was reorganized as an imperial provincial district. Vardenfell had been maintained as a preserve administer administrated by the temple since the Treaty of the Armistice, and except for a few great house settlements sanctioned by the temple, Vardenfell was previously uninhabited and undeveloped. See ESO Morrowind retconning that. But when the centuries-old temple ban on trade and settlement of Vardenfell was revoked by King of Morrowind, a flood of imperial colonists and Great House Dunmer came to Vardenfell, expanding old settlements and building new ones. The new district was divided into Redoran, Hlalu, Telvani, and temple districts, each separately administered by local house councils or temple priesthoods, and all under the advice and consent of Duke Dren, my relative, definitely a relation, and the district council in Ebenhart. Local law became a mixture of house law and imperial law and house district, uh, jointly enforced by house guards and legion guards, with temple law and imperial law enforced in the temple district by ordinators. Is this confusing yet? Yeah, because it's pretty damn confusing to me. The temple was still recognized as the majority religion, but worship of the nine divines was protected by the legions and encouraged by imperial cult missions. The temple district included the city of Vivek, the fortress of Ghost Gate, and all sacred and profane sites, including those blighted areas inside the ghost fence. We'll get to the ghost fence. And all unsettled and wilderness areas on Vardenfell. In practice, this district included all parts of Vardenfell not claimed for Redoran, Hlalu, or Telvani districts. The temple stubbornly fought all development in their district and were largely successful. House Hlalu, in combination with Imperial colonists, embarked on a vigorous campaign of settlement and development. In the decades after reorganization, Balmora and the Escadian Isles regions have grown steadily. Caldera and Pelagiad are completely new settlements, and all legion forts were expanded to accommodate larger garrisons. Uh, yeah, so when we were in Pelagiad, you probably noticed uh, that it is very imperial in style. Uh, it is similar to the ones in Oblivion, and is similar to the ones in Daggerfall as well, uh, which is a very sort of white bread, northern Euro Western European kind of look to them. Um, I think Pelagiad is named, in fact, after an emperor. I think it's named after one of the Pelagiuses, uh, I would guess. House Telvanni, normally conservative and isolationist, has been surprisingly aggressive in expanding beyond their traditional tower villages. Disregarding the protests of the other houses, the temple, the duke, and the district council, Telvanni pioneers have been encroaching on the wild lands reserved to the temple. The Telvanni have questionable respect for the temple. The Telvani Council officially disavows responsibility for these rogue Telvani settlements, but it is an open secret that they are encouraged and supported by ambitious Telvani mage lords. Under pressure from the temple, conservative house Redoran has steadfastly resisted expansion in their district. Always the goody two-shoes, the Redoran. As a result, House Redoran and the Temple are in danger of being politically and economically marginalized by the more aggressive and expansionist Lalu and Telvani interests. Worth noting is that in the timeline of ESO, Balmora, where we are right now, is actually a Redoran town. Um, because the Redor Aldruin is still uh, the territory of the Ashlanders, so they have not yet moved into that area. Um, so that is worth noting. The Imperial Administration faces many challenges in the Vardenfell district, but most serious are the Great House rivalries, animosity from the Ashlander nomads, internal conflicts within the temple itself, and the Red Mountain Blight. Red Mountain Blight is important. Struggles between Great House, Temple, and Imperial interests to control Vardenfell's resources could at any time erupt into full-scale war. Ashlanders raid settlements, plunder caravans, and kill foreigners on their wild lands. The temple has unsuccessfully attempted to silence criticism and calls for reform within its ranks. But most serious, and here we're getting the Red Mountain stuff, are the plagues and diseased hosts produced by the blight storms sweeping out from Red Mountain. Vardenfell and all Morrowind have long been menaced by the legendary evils of Dagoth Ur and his ash vampire kin dwelling beneath Red Mountain. For centuries the temple has contained this threat within the ghost fence, but recently the temple's resources and will have faltered and the threat from Red Mountain has grown in scale and intensity. 
If the ghost fence should fail, and hosts of blighted monsters were to spill out across Vardenfell's towns and villages, the Empire might have no choice but to evacuate Vardenfell District and abandon it to disease and corruption. Which you can imagine might be uh, of interest uh, of, to some people. Alright, so it is a good time for me to take a little break. A uh, little bio break. So I will uh, be back in two shakes of the lamb's tail. Do people still say that? I don't know. Uh, I'll give you a topic. If you were... If you were a Dunmer Great House, what Great House would you belong to? I'm looking forward to your answer when I come back. Hello, hello, I return. And I wanted to hear your opinions on things. Lol, I certainly do say that. Oh, two shakes with lamb's tail? Uh, somebody was asking about that today. I do not know enough about Dunmer Houses to know which one I'd be. Are we at no deaths, no getting lost, and no arrest? Yes, but there was one murder and a lot of stealing of clothing. Yeah, shocking, isn't it? It's like we hardly played the game at all. That we did murder someone and raid their wardrobe. At least one person, maybe more. There was the diamonds dude. Was that a different guy than the wardrobe dude? Yeah, the... The diamonds we just stole. Um, no murder was involved. Yeah, we didn't kill anybody over the diamonds. Do we have to track murders? I feel like those are likely to get a little out of control eventually. I don't know. Valaine might have been traumatized by this. You know, he thought he was going to maybe do the Morag tongue, but maybe he doesn't have the heart for this. He has he has a... Uh, a Vomalexia. <laughs> I love the name. It's great. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow, Foot of Amalexia. So, uh, the question is, uh, if, if, if you're the Foot of Amalexia, is there a, uh, is there some a Quentin Tarantino with a foot fetish? It's probably like Crassius Curio or something. We did not stab the guy to get the key to the diamonds. No, the diamonds were in a little chest uh, that we just picked the lock out of sight of the guards. So there was no stabbing for that one. Okay, uh, so yeah, no deaths, no arrests, uh, no getting lost, but there has been one guy that I murdered and went through his wardrobe. Uh, all right. And if the question was like, what house would you belong to? So it kind of breaks down really easily along the lines of warrior, mage, thief. Like, Redern is the warrior house, Talani is the mage house, and uh, Lalu are the corrupt and thieving house. Um, they're also the, the ones who are closest to the Imperials. Um, and uh, the other two, which are not on Vardenfell, would be Drez, which are mostly known for being slavers and doing most of like the agricultural production, and Indoril, who are... Um, kind of heavily associated with the temple and the ordinators um, and are not fun at parties. Magic is fun. I'd pick Telvani. Oh, the Telvani are delightful. I kind of wish we were playing a wizard because I haven't done the Telvani quest in so long and I'd love to go through it again. I went through it with an Argonian, which is kind of ironic. Parties are also fun. Yeah, the Indoral are no fun at parties. Oh, so I was going to tell you what my adult beverage of the moment is. So, today we are drinking the Adonis Barrel Age series from the local brewery, which is River Sticks Brewing. Uh, Adonis is an imperial tart ale conditioned on pink guava, guava steen, and pineapple. This is one of four hand-selected barrel aged releases. This variant rested in a Sauvignon Blanc barrel for 10 months, and it does have a very winey flavor to it. Um, and there's a number, 354, on the bottle because it is one of a limited series. Um, we love this place. We we actually went to a release uh, of, of one of theirs this weekend. Um, and it's also high ABV, so I'm sharing it with Matt. Okay, let's get back to work. So we're back at Caius's place. He has told us to go talk to Hasfat and Tabalus uh, about the Nereverian cult and the Sixth House cult. Um, and other tasks. The Fighters Guild wants us to go deal with some egg poachers. The Mages Guild wants us to go uh, find some people and shake them down for dues. The Thieves Guild has refused to pay us so far for any of our work, so I'm getting more inclined not to help them out. Um, but what was the task they gave me? 
Oh, I'm supposed to go to Cloud and find some Dwemer artifacts. Alright, uh, let's get out of here. Let's go talk to Hasfat and Tablas. That sounds fun. Guava is a great flavor. Honestly, most of what I taste on this is sort of the Sauvignon Blanc. It has a very winey taste to it. It is very nice, though. If any of you ever come to visit me, I will I will take you to River Sticks Brewery. Well, assuming you, like, Let's drink beer. Even if you don't, we'll just drag you along. Is there something you need? Okay, we have a lot of good breweries around here. Another one I like is Moon Hill Brewery, which uh, has a, a beer called a sour ale called Candy Mountain Charlie, which was like a punch in the 2010s for me. Okay, Hasfa and Tablas, who is at the Fighters Guild. Fight. Oh my god, lol lol. <laughs> I don't know what that's in I'm response to. Please go ahead. Oh, the Candy Mountain Charlie? Yeah. Oh, this is just a bedroom. I think he's down this way. See, the Fighters Guild actually gives you a room with a door to sleep in. That is a distinct advantage over the Mages Guild, I'd just like to say. This... Oh, they're all studiously avoiding me. I, I would too. Something from me? Hello. Uh, a less unfortunate hairstyle? Good day, Elaine Dren. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information? Of course, there's a this for that involved. I require a favor first, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. Tell me about this favor. There are Dwemer ruins nearby called Arkenthond. I need you to run over there. Just a quick errand, and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called the Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwemer Puzzle Box, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Oh, hello. Did the power just go out? No, because my computer's still on. <laughs> uh, a kitten hit the light switch. That's what happened. Candy Mountain is a classic. Candy Mountain jokes are a big thing amongst my friends and I. We have a friend named Charlie. Ah, yes. Sorry for the, uh, the, the spookiness there. Uh, but, but the mystery was solved. Cats were involved, of course. So, Dwemer Puzzle Box. Bring me back the Dwemer Puzzle Box, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Alright, what can you tell me about it? The little cube I'm looking for is about the size of a fist, maybe a little bigger. It will be made of a coppery metal, with a circular design and symbols on one side, and some lined marks on the other sides. That's all I want. That little cube. Okay, uh, what do you know about, uh, Morrowind history? I won't bore you blathering about history. That's what Caius is for. But if you're really interested, try On Morrowind, the Imperial Province by Aramanwe of Sunhold. I've heard that recommended. It's on my list. I have an extra copy you can have. What an adventurer like you really needs is a sense of current events. Who hates who? Where's trouble brewing? That's where opportunity lies for an outlander like you. Uh, so, can you tell me about current events? The Great Houses hate each other. Theft, murder, assassination, secret raids, standard stuff. The Templars is trying to kill off a rebellious faction called the Distant Priests. Ashlander nomads raid each other, attack traders and pilgrims. A secret, rule is, a secret cult is killing off Imperial citizens. All bad enough. The real problem, though, is the blight. Monsters and diseases. The natives say it comes from Red Mountain. It's been a local problem for years. Ugh. Oh, the cat tree of the office is right next to the light switch. I'm out for the night. Good night, Clint. It was nice to see you again. I hope to see you on Sunday. The natives say it comes from Red Mountain. It's been a local problem for years, but lately it's gotten badly out of control. Okay. I have taken the book. Uh... Do you, he probably won't tell me anything about the Nereverine or Sixth House before I do his errand. You have a favor to do first. Then we can talk about the Nereverine. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure my voice is quite up for doing a uh, reading of On Morrowind right now. But uh, we will do that after we beat some things up in the Dwemer Ruin. Perhaps. Plus, I don't think you want to 
watch me read for the rest May of the stream. Some people like that, but I don't know. If cats are going to keep turning out the light, we deserve another kitten viewing. I'll pass that on to my uh, sous chef here. Yes, what do you want? A kitten viewing. It's like an art viewing. I know it's the wrong red proper name, but a certain song from ESO springs to mind when you say Red Mountain. Oh, Red Diamond? Right. Yeah. Red Diamond. Or whenever we heard it incessantly in ESO, we would we would talk about Neil Diamond, the heart and soul of men. Hello! Hello! I'm, I'm working on it! Come here! Oh, jeez! No! Let me go! That was Pongo. Ah. Uh, and this is the big boy. Gussie. He's be gonna be a chonk. You're a chonk. He says, send newts. Because of course he is named after Gussie Finknoddle. Oh my god. Pongo is usually not the squirmy one. He really likes to sit on people's laps. But I think the position that Matt was handing him off in was not ideal. Yes. Three little kittens. Okay. What am I doing? Uh, I am gonna go get killed in a Dwemer ruin. Let me save. But Sarah. Oh, so I was gonna show you. This is added in by a mod, which is like Forts of Vardenfell, I think it's called. I don't know why it felt the need to add a giant Vivek statue right in front of the Silt Strider. It seems a little odd to me, but uh, okay. I'm cool with it. And as you can see, apparently people are leaving their offerings to the Vivek statue, as one does, when you're not trying to look up his loincloth. And the symbol that is on his loincloth is the the letter V, Vec, which is also another name he is known by, as you may know. Yeah, it took me a while to realize that the the nicknames for the different tribunal members are actually just the letter, the first letter of their name in the Daedric alphabet. Like Vec is V, I M is A, and Set is S. He's also in play and fight mood, hence the fighting by the light switch on the cat tree and knocking the light off. Yeah, and uh, camera shy, I don't know. The real one who loves the camera is Monty. So we have some lovely distant terrain going on here. Again, we wouldn't have had this in Morrowind because in the original game because there wasn't distant terrain in the original game. As I recall, there's probably going to be something on the bridge that will try to kill me. But yeah, you can see this place from miles and miles away. It is very prominent in the skyline when you have distant terrain. Crush weed. Which I've already picked. This one was the crush weed was giving me trouble. Um, I lo when I first loaded up the game after installing all the mods. Oh, they're doing it again. Um, I got all of the all of the crush weed textures. Uh, well, I was getting like the the pink textures, which means that the textures were missing, and it ended up being that. Um, the config file. So the open more uh, modding open Morrowind site uh, gives you like a, a, a config file to use once you've installed all the mods, and um, they had not included the the meshes in the config file. We are not going to the to the fort. We are going past the fort. Yeah, I had a lot of emails back and forth with Christos, who is the guy behind. Um, most of the work behind modding up the modding open Morrowind site um, because there were some things he had just updated uh, the mod list for uh, open Morrowind 0.47 and there were a lot of things <gasps> it's a guar unfortunately wild guar are not very friendly so I'm actually gonna 
have to defend myself against the Guar, possibly. It is! Wake up, Guarple! I won't kill him unless he attacks me. That's a nice retexture, though, isn't it? Hello! Wild Guar. He's like, lady, get out of my face. Oh, I love the tail! Look at the tail! Isn't it fantastic? Oh my god! Pet the guar! Oh, cliff racer. Just for anybody who's counting, this is the second cliff racer we've seen so far in the game. Floating in space. Okay, that looks like a Kwama Forager, so uh, it's probably going to attack me. I will again try to do some... Uh, some work with my stupid looking halberd. I'm still very bad with spear. But thankfully these things are not particularly hard. I want to be up there. I'm not... Oh no, I need to be going over that bridge. So I did go the wrong way. Because this is the Foyata Mamea, I believe. Well, that was a nice diversion, if nothing else. Hello, Guar. You're so cute. I like you. Well, they do float in space. They're 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 floating. I mean, they're flying creatures. So for once, that is not a bug. Is this the way I came in? I think so. I mean, I guess it was kind of just like hovering there, though. Not to be confused with Cliff Striders from ESO. I don't know why they didn't put Cliff Racers in ESO. Maybe they thought that like it would be too traumatic. There is a Cliff Strider song in ESO though, which is fantastic. I seem to recall in Stone Falls in ESO there actually are a couple of like Cliff Racers like in the scenery. There might be an ESO as well, in Morrowind as well, but I don't, uh, in ESO Morrowind, I mean. Stonefalls is in the, is in the base game. So I know they are in the base game. I don't know if they're in the expansions is what I'm saying. So this is the correct way to go. Way to go! Auf Gesicht. I don't know why I said that. <sighs> okay, so if I recall correctly, there is something that will want to murder me on this side of the bridge. So I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to wait for my, uh, my fatigue to come back. Drink a little booze. I guess I could rest. It's coming back fast enough. Hello, Mr. Cliff Racer. Is anybody taking the over on under on uh, whether or not it will come, uh, swoop down and attack me while I'm while I'm attacking this guy? Because I'm thinking the the it's probably a pretty high uh, probability. Let's put up a shield. Charge! Actually, gonna have to put that shield up again before I. Ah, fire shield time. Oh, that's cool. I caught it in mid. Get back here, dude. Hey, he looks like Caius. Caius with a mustache! You must be evil, Caius! Snowy Granius. Ah, just junk. Junk, junk. I'll take your book, though. Everything else is just kind of crap. Not worth carrying around. Save. Loot some things. Spider Centurion schematics? What is that? Scrap metal is very heavy and very expensive. 
Uh, should I carry it around? Mirror <laughs> Universe Caius, yes. Darkest Timeline Caius. I may get rid of the Dwemer Scrap later. I like how there's just, like, money lying around in these boxes. This rock looks way different than the others. Oh, it's probably part of the... the compound here is why. Okay, well, the cliff racer did not swoop down on me while I was attacking that guy. It may swoop down on me now. Yes, it will. Racer number two. Ooh, that's a cool texture. They really sort of made them look very pterodactyl like, which is cool. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of mods that retexture the animals. So, if I recall correctly, you want to turn this crank here, and it will open up over here. If you can read this, you're a nerd. Okay, so I will warn you ahead of time. Tell me if this is too dark, because I can try to turn up the gamma, but this is like one of the darkest places in the game. Like, there are literally places where you were just walking in the dark here. So, uh, if it gets to the point where you're like, I cannot see a damn thing, let me know, and I will do what I can. Actually, let me preemptively turn up the gamma a little bit. Gamma correction. Okay, there we go. Nerd, or Dwemer. Yeah, one of those. Well... I think the Dwemer all were kind of nerds. I mean... They're like band nerds. They were tonal architects. Huh. Okay, I've preemptively turned up the gamma a bit. Which hopefully will help. It's not as much metal in here as I was expecting. You go to the Dwemer ruins in ESO Morrowind. Uh, there's a lot more metal. But, you know. It is what it is. Does anybody... I cannot remember if Arkenthond is actually in ESO Morrowind. I know some of the various Dwemer ruins are. Ah, wow. He saw me from really far away, even though I was sneaking. Let's go shield. Okay, you are not a Dwemer. I mean... You're not going to find Dwemer. <laughs> you, sir, are not a Dwemer of Centurion or I should probably switch to my weapon that actually does have charge. Ah, an iron spider dagger. I have so many different short blades to choose from now. I guess I'll switch to this one for a little bit. Expensive amulet. I'll take that. Where's the other guy? Save. Also, you need to occasionally just yell at me to save. Just FYI. Feather belt. I will take that. Feather basically lightens your load so you can carry more stuff. His pants are almost like bell bottoms. I did not notice. Let me take a look. Is there anything good here? No. This guy? Or no. The other guy, you must mean. Yeah, well, his legs are kind of going through the wall, so it's kind of hard to say. Or do you mean these? This is actually surprisingly well lit. There's just some random Flynn sitting on a box with a lantern. We'll take the travel lantern, though. That seems like it will be useful. Which way should I go? I think I'll go this way. Let's do some more sneaking. Not that I'm very good at it, considering how far away they saw me from. Yeah, this place was pretty creepy when I originally played this game. Honestly, How is the lighting? Is it... Do you do I need to turn it up? Should I turn it down for more atmosphere? Any opinions? I 
I mean, I've, I generally find if you're on a smaller screen, it's going to seem darker, which seems crazy, but... Wow, the lighting there is interesting. What's going on with that? There's something or someone over there. Oh, hello. He doesn't see me yet. I'm gonna see if he's gonna turn his back to me. And then I will uh, see if I can stab him in said back. Too much for that. It was much easier than I was expecting. Like he said, this is too easy. I mean, not that I'm complaining, but... what these centurion sphere schematics are. Cross alt. I love the headbands and the hair face mod. Is that? Oh yeah, yeah. That must be one of the ones I installed. I, I installed like 200 of them, so I don't honestly remember what every single one of them is. <gasps> we'll tell you the hold it mod has turned out to be really fucking weird. Dwemer stove! What did they leave on the fire when they all disappeared in a puff of logic? 3,000 year old overcooked turkey. Oh, I would guess there's something on the floor above me. Either that or there was some nuclear uh, radiation and somebody's shadow just got stuck here. Yeah, yeah, it's a good look on Nords. I mean, as much as Nords look good, period. You only have graphics mods in this playthrough, correct? So, yes. But I, there is a fine line between like graphics mods and uh, not, as I, as I learned. So I actually have some of Tamriel rebuilt, um, because that was considered to be a graphics mod. Um, and then I have ones like Ports of Ardenfell, which, as you saw, add things like statues. So adding stuff like clutter and new land masses I thought was okay. I'm probably not going to go to any of the lands in Tamriel Rebuilt, um, at least not in this series. But uh, I wanted to have the option there. Um, but I haven't changed like the leveling system, I haven't like put poisons in the game, um, I haven't done any major rebalances, so uh, yeah. Yeah, there's not too much in the way of gameplay mods. Weeping Bell Hall. There probably is a correct way to go through here, and I have no idea what it is. I think my current plan is mostly to just... I might do a... I think I'm just going to get to the end of the main quest in this series, but I might do like a second series. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Probably didn't need that. Considering how easily I'm killing them. Yeah, that's right. Man, they all have short blades. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... I just keep alternating between different sharp plates, depending on which one has charge. Time for Fargoth's ring. Maybe someday I will get better at sneak, or I'll just enchant something with like 100% chameleon. That's another option.
I don't know that the maps are super useful in here. Heaven's Gallery. One thing I think is cool, and I don't know if it's a mod, but in Daggerfall, they have like 3D maps. But I think that might be a mod. I saw it when I was watching Sorcerer Dave's stream of Daggerfall. Hey, look! Another short play with an enchantment on it. But I honestly I have a really hard time with directions as as uh, Lee and Bath could tell you. So heavy dwemer desk. She has a dwarven broadsword. That is valuable. I will take that. I seem to recall this may be the room that has it in it. Another dwemer broadsword. I'm getting close to my weight limit. Although my weight limit has increased because... Dwemer hat! Okay, we gotta see what the Dwemer hat looks like. It's not actually good armor, but I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, come on, what are you doing? Hello! We collect funny looking hats here at Morrowind Remastered. Let's put the real one back on. Oh, I keep forgetting I have a restore fatigue. My hat does restore fatigue. Is it a constant effect or is it... It's cast when used. Okay. Looks like an anchor. Thank you! Save! I have done so. What would I do without you? We'll just follow the trail of dead bodies back in. Oh, that's a Dwemer gear. But given the weight relative to the value, I... Ugh. I meant to not take that. There we go. Ooh, look, lava. I want an army of Dunmer archers with those hats. Yeah. It gives me a very much like terracotta army kind of feel to it. I don't know. You didn't count all those murders? There was only one murder. Elaine would have you know there was only one murder, and he will be repenting for it for a while. Iron Wakazashi. Eh, not worth it. This is how they heated in Dwemer days. Good old lava. Hello? Bandits? I'm assuming these are bandits. Coins. Oh, those are a retexture as well, I think. Didn't the Thieves Guild want a Dwemer goblet? I might just get Dwemer stuff out of here. Without having to go to Cloud and find stuff. The Dwemer bolts. What did they want, anyway? Dwemer tube, Dwemer goblet, and Dwemer bowl. I do have a d one Dwemer bowl now, so I'm probably good. And I have a Dwemer goblet. Another Dwemer coin. Another Dwemer hat, which I'm... Jesus Christ! For a shitty hat, that is worthwhile. What's this thing that just happened with a dead Bosmer you just robbed who was lying all still? You're mixing up Bosmer and Dwemer. No. This guy I just killed? What about him? Is he a Bosmer? He might be? Kirbatha. I don't know what kind of name that is. I mean, if they're bandits, does it really count? Steam Centurion Head. Sure, I'll take that. Is there like a quest to like put together a steam centurion or something? I don't know that I ever did that one. Oh great, I'm running out of inventory space. But so many valuable things. Uh, this pitcher is not though. 
it can get put in the trash. So can the silver candles do well. I should have sold some shit before I left. Oh, fucking take this grinder. mug so you can have some Dwemer ale they attacked first don't you know Imperial Labra it's true crossbow of evanescence it just plays really bad music I mean this is pretty cool Million ten percent is nice, but at the same time, I never use ranged weapons. <laughs> I'll take it though. I'll leave the scrap metal here. It's too heavy. Oh, I'm over encumbered already, aren't I? Great. Just great. Okay, what the hell am I getting rid of? So many good things I don't want to get rid of. I need to get rid of the stupid farmer sack. There's more I should have put in my, uh... I was just saying this can go. Yeah, there was stuff I meant to sell that I just completely forgot. This is the thing going diving in Flemmer Ruins, is they're full of good stuff. I seem to recall the puzzle boxes on, like, ooh. Man, they didn't really guard their stuff very well. I wish I could show you my screenshots of my Morrowind MGE. Is that the graphics extender? Also, hello, Sin Chili. Sin Chili? Is that right? <laughs> the Empire operates under the it's coming right for us principle, like South Park. <laughs> All right, not murders. You accept it. Yeah, I've never played with MGE. Uh, I've seen people do it, and it is quite lovely. Um, I just have never done it myself. Dwemer Cylinder. Cylinders are hot. I have a feeling I'm going to need to leave these here as valuable as they are just because they're so goddamn heavy. And I'm already overweight again. I'm very conscious about my weight. Here, take this crap. Why does a piece of parchment weigh one pound? Or whatever, whatever that is. have to leave my stuff behind. I should probably not go into battle with a lockpick in my hand. Not super effective. Dwemer pick. I didn't get that one from the Dwemer. That's I got that from a guy I murdered. Okay. I did not come in this way, right? Land's Blood Gallery. No, I'm pretty sure I did not. Oh, I should probably heal. Lock level 32. Wow, I get enchant skill for using magical items? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think I hear Dwemer spiders. That little tap 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 is so freaking creepy when you're, uh, you don't know what you're looking for. How's the lighting, by the way, uh, Sin Chili? Uh, we turned up the gamma a bit because it's very dark in here. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's too light now. Looking at it in OBS, it looks darker. Um, but I don't know. This one is trapped. I noticed this time before I ran face first into it. That is definitely a Dwemer spider. Come here, brah. Oh, he did something to me. Where is spell absorption? I have a thing of spell absorption, don't I? Possibly. 
Wow, that's a really obnoxious noise. I don't need two Dormer hat, but look at how much they're worth. 600 to one to weight value ratio. Come on. Where is my thing? What am I looking for? Spell. There we go. So I take it, uh, you have a sin that you have a lot of experience with using MG. I've never used it before. I honestly have never. This is my first time playing with any of the, really any of the modded Morrowinds. Whoa, he hit. Oh, snipe. Ow. What? Oh, fuck, there's a ghost. Dwemer ghost, he's wearing a hat. Also gonna do mouse tea. Ooh. Is that from the mouse tea? My willpower? Probably, yeah. Or the lock? I don't know. I don't know what that is from. Drain attribute luck. Brave curse. Oh, do I have a restore? Probably do. Restore luck. Ah, potions solve everything in this game. I don't know why I think it's easier to just stare at everything. Spooky! He's not even abiding by proper sensual pottery making ghost protocol! Right? <laughs> By the way, for any of you who are unaware, Electric D Monk is my husband. Um, always willing to entertain us with ridiculous lore. Oh right, my strength is absurd now because I I did Masti. I probably don't need this scrap metal. Um, what is my chance of actually casting a heal? Three percent. I I don't think I'm gonna do that. Let's just do another restore health. Okay, I still have drained. Oh, that's just from the moss tea. The grave curse went away. Okay, I was going this way. I might as well continue going this way. Hello? Spooky ghosts. Ooh, that looks cool. Heavy Dwemer chest. Alright, let's see if I can get this open. It has giant centurion schematics. A Dwemer, Dwemer coherer. Man, that's heavy. I'm just gonna leave that. Do you even drink, bruh? Only Mazte. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes Sujama. I prefer the native liquors of uh, of this land. If slave labor wasn't used to make it, it's not for me. See, I could have found a diamond here. I didn't need to rob a store. But I did. And I don't regret it. Hello? Lava. This seems like an OSHA violation right here. I think you're supposed to have like gates around uh, around any pits that lead directly into lava. These regulations are written in blood. I did loot those. I hear spider feet. Got 
that shield up. Oh, hello. Glad I did that. Ooh, I leveled up. Should I rest right here? You know how he feels about resting on dirty floors. But D Dwemer Osha only applies to the outer realms. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, ask Yagrim Bagar and he has opinions about Dwemer Osha. Okay, um, I am going to take a little rest. Uh, just so I can do my level up. Just for a little bit. Alright. Well, luck, first of all. Last time I did agility. I feel like this time I should do speed and endurance. There we go. I'm going to need to focus on uh, the other stats a bit more, though. Because I don't think... I haven't leveled up strength and willpower or personality yet. And just to keep them all sort of on the same level. Oh, I should save. This one is not trapped. Deep ore passage. Ooh. Okay. Shield time. Oh, right. Ah. I think casting the shield cost me more health than... Yeah, nothing good on there. This might be actually where it is. This is so cool. I don't know, I love that this game can still impress me after 20 years and the millions of times that I've played it. You know? That's pretty impressive right there. Dwarven Junk Mace. I think I'll leave that behind. Puzzle box? I want to say it's like... I remember it's somewhere like really fucking hard to see. Unless I'm thinking of something else. over here. Is there? No. Just one more look. That's just a rusty Dwemer cog. Am I allowed to post a screenshot link? It is print screen from light shot. Sure, you're welcome to. I don't think I have link protection turned on, so I think you're okay. And if not, we'll... There's something about the atmosphere they created with Morrowind that makes it very, very unique. Hard to describe. I, I'm inclined to agree. Up oh, something's... Shit. Something's headed my way. Do I have fire shield left? Probably not. Oh well. Guess I'm eating this one. Hey, spooky ghost! <laughs> Yeah, the first time I ever explored this. Ah, oh, the first time you explore Arkenthand. Everybody remembers their first time. Yeah, none of the other games, I mean, I love all the Elder Scrolls games, but none of the other games have ever made me feel ways about things in the, more, the way more way. Okay, this could get ugly. Yep, oh, something's there. Alrighty, I get it. You want to murder me. You mustn't be rude about it. I don't imagine I could have cast it. Oh well. Let's 
something down there. Is that just another bandit? Or maybe I'm just seeing things. Oh, this is cool. Swimming. Can I have swift swim? Yeah, I'm also out of magicka. Oh, I can use restore. That's what they're there for. I thought I bought swift swim. Maybe not. Oh, water breathing, I should have. And I failed casting the spell. That worked. I thought I'd learn Swift Swim. Kinda wonder if this water is like boiling hot since there's like lava around here. That's definitely a, cons a consideration I would have. goodies underwater in this game, which I love. Oh, I hear another Dwemer thingy. lost, but at the moment I don't really care. I'm just exploring. Oh. Did you post... Was that links you were trying to post? I'm sorry about that. Let me... I can turn them off for a second. Hold up. Hold up. <sighs> sorry about that. Oh, come on. Where is my window? Lost. Yes, that would be time one. Um, oh, come on. What are you doing? Why am I looking up? I was going to stream elements so that I could turn off link protection. Sorry about that, Sin Chill. I have turned it off. You may, uh, well, I'm already drinking. You may commence, uh, posting links. Sorry about that. I'm still getting the hang of Stream Elements because I just recently switched to it after, uh, Streamlabs did some shitty stuff. Which is what I used to use. But oh, they've been really sketchy. And all sort of came out at once. Okay, it does not seem like there is a way forward over here. So, might be timed out for a bit. 120 seconds, so two minutes. Sorry about that, sir, or madam, or they. Gentle them. Is there anything over there? I have to say it was perving on drow that finally got me to learn the difference between a stalactite and a stalagmite. Alright, back. Glad to have you back. So yeah, you should be good to post links now? I need to replay the main quest so I can fist fight Dagother. Should probably hand to hand the other living gods too. <laughs> that that's a good goal. My goal currently is uh, we decided that we're gonna um, 
build a pillow fort from all of the pillows in Jorain Thales' house. You know, the lady who gives you the first quest in the Fighter's Guild, um, who has like 50 pillows. And I'm like, you know, there's no physics in this game, so you should be able to build a pillow fort. Um, so that's what we're going to do at some point in time. I'm going to look at your lovely screenshots. Ooh, pretty. Very nice. Looks like it adds in... I don't have right now a way to do a browser source, or I would share this. Um, but definitely check them out if, if, if you're interested. Yeah, I like how it seems to add some plants. Like, it looks like there's something uh, palmish in this first one. Um, lovely. It looks like you might have the same textures for the mushrooms that I do. Because they look very similar to the Emperor Parasol mushrooms in mine. So how does MGE work? I, I admit I'm not sure. Oh, that's gorgeous. S your Satanine one is, is just gorgeous. Love the sunset. Oh, fantastic. Look at that water, too. It's a really nice water. Nice stuff. Collect all pillows you find everywhere and construct pillow palace. <laughs> I like it. We're going to do it. Maybe not tonight, but the plan is in the works. Okay, OBS, why are you blinking at me? Calm the fuck down. There's something up there, isn't there? Ooh, I have levitate. Maybe I can levitate up there and see what it is. This is why I love this game. Well, except for the fact where I don't have enough magicka. But there's just, like, stuff they put in that... Wow. Apparently, I do not have enough magicka, period, to cast Levitate. Well, okay. Do you like that? Maybe I should let Ajira sell me a Potion of Rising Force. Maybe I can jump up there. There's definitely something up here. I might be able to jump up here. Ah! See, I could use my scroll of a carry in flight. <laughs> Seems kind of like a waste, though. Okay, well, screw it. Mind wind, Moral craft. <laughs> yeah, there are many graphic texture mods. A little bit of immersion, like moving boats and walking silt striders from a bot. Yeah, I think I have a couple of a bot's mo mods in this. I don't remember which ones, though. Otherwise, completely lore-friendly. I tried to stick with mostly graphics mods with this. Um, although, it's a finer line than you might think. Um, wow. I'm, like, avoiding this. Like, I'm gonna get my my hair stuck in it or something. It's pretty cool, though. Should I go this way? Because this door is still closed. But it looks like I did come in this way. Okay. Blood gallery I have been through. We went this way. There was just lava. Oh, and another guy, apparently. Shields? Maybe? Didn't I kill you guys already? What the hell? Did they respawn or something? Whoa, he went flying. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I've been here. I don't know. Maybe they came from elsewhere. And I do not mean the land of the Khajiit. Did I go this way? I don't know that I did. Maybe they were attracted by the smell of my delicious Dunmer body. I have not been this way. For sure, for sure. Let's go this way first, though. Because I think that might be where I want to go. Had a big test collection a few years ago with all the games in the original box wrapper. <laughs> yeah, I actually... When I was installing this, because you do actually have to have a copy of it for Open Morrowind, I was installing from the original disc I had from 2002. There's a cat here with her head on my arm. It makes typing hard. Oh, man. That is rough, man. 
Sold it on eBay, mostly. I don't know. I wonder how much those old things go for. They also did, uh, semi-recently, the, the collection of, like, all of the ga games, which I also bought. I have killed so many Dwemer spiders today. What is this? <laughs> oh, I guess these must be the shadows of the ones above me. I seem to be going lower and lower. There must be something here. This place is a maze. Oh, there's a ghost. Come here, ghost. Should switch weapons to one that actually does have charge. Of my many, many weapons. Because they just keep giving them to me, apparently. I'm not sure poison is going to do much against ghosts. Oh, something else hitting me? hundred dollars, everyone. More one collector's edition, for example. Yeah, some people want those. These days you can get, uh, you can get Morrowind on GOG for probably not very much. I don't honestly know how much, though. Is that a coin? No, this is the goblet. Carefully searching everything for Dwemer puzzle blocks. Save. A Dwemer nightstand! A Dwemer cup. No. I think we are gonna have to depend on a potion here, friends. There is. I thought I had a fuck ton of them. Yeah, I do. Ma Ooh, an ancient Dwemer door key. Might as well use that. Dwemer Quirus. Very expensive, very heavy, though. Let's use this, uh. This armor thing. Very creepy. Remember Centurion Eye? Sure. Let's take that. Give me your ectoplasm. I, I did look in this, right? The proper way to play Vanilla Morrowind is on original Xbox in a room filled with dirty laundry, bongs, and empty energy drink cans. CRT television also required. <laughs> I mean, I played mine on PC back in 2002, so I'm not sure I agree, but, but I can understand the sentiment. I learned an interesting fact recently um, about the Xbox version, which is that there actually wasn't enough memory um, on the the Xbox to load more than like a little bit of the game at a time. So every time that you're in a load screen in the Xbox, it's actually soft resetting the entire Xbox. <laughs> it's basically shutting down the Xbox and turning it back on in some sense. Um, there was an Arena Deluxe Edition, which I find the rarest. Oh, that's interesting. I've actually never played Arena or Daggerfall, for that matter. But I've watched a lot of uh, a lot of Sorcerer Dave playing Daggerfall. What are the paper towel rolls on the wall? Those are lights, I believe. Uh, either that or the Dwemer were really, uh, really into bounty paper towels. 
One of those. Those are the only two possible explanations. Okay, I came in through here, I believe. I, dis I did not explore this way, did I? Or did I come in through here? Uh, yep. Yep, this is classic lease right here. Well, I've clearly been this way. There's actually a really great article out there, and I can't remember if I learned it from that article, but it's basically, um, they interviewed a whole bunch of the original developers of Morrowind about the game, and I learned some really interesting things. Heaven's Gallery. Okay, this is back where it was. I s there was something I missed. Or maybe not. Because I came this way. I went down this way. There was something to my left, which I didn't explore, but maybe I did eventually get around there. Yeah, okay. All right, so, Heaven's Gallery. That's the random Bosomer I murdered. They've been in here. Okay, so far I've not succeeded in finding a Dwemer puzzle box, and it is 10 o'clock. Um, so, I'll go for a little bit longer, but, uh... I don't know how long I can stay up. Did I go? I don't think I went this way. Again, having levitate would be nice here. Oh, I can jump. I don't think I can jump over that cliff without a... Uh... I could use my scrolls of a carry in flight. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I just want to see what happens. Oh, I have to actually, like... It. Ah! That didn't do shit. Oh, I have to actually jump. Hola. Holy fuck. Where am I? This was possibly a bad idea. Okay, well, possibly a bad idea. Or did it already wear off? But it already wore off. Well, now I just need to get back up here. Don't make me do a scroll of a carry in flight to get back up here. I'm gonna have to, aren't I? And now I'm stuck on the cavern wall. Ah! Shit. Oh, Lise. Why you do this? I'll just swim through lava. It'll be fine. I'm a dark elf. I have a feeling at this point I'm just going to be reloading a save. <laughs> Yeah, let's just reload a save. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Right, because I was down there. I jumped. No, I tried to jump over there. And I totally failed. Okay, let's try it again. That worked. I vote this all still counts as the same got lost. It seems likely. 
up close and personal on this guy's beard. We're judging Nord, right? No, he looks like an Imperial. I'll take your mace. Although it's probably... Oh, I'm over my weight limit now. Dwemer Cylinder! I need one of the... No, I need a Dwemer 2, but that's not the same thing. Okay. Here, have another Dwemer Cylinder. Get me back under the weight limit. I want to read that later. Save. Do some healing. Do some skooma. What is that? Actually, I do not have any. Ooh, this is neat. No idea what the purpose of it is, but it's kind of like they just put it here as an Easter egg. It looks like it's meant to be like a, uh, a telescope. But yeah, I think it's probably just an Easter egg. Or not, that's not really the right word, but like they don't really intend you to get here. I mean, I guess you could, you know, if you had levitate and it would actually work. Come on, why am I so bad at levitate? This isn't fair. jump up here and end up over there. That is what I'd like to do without having to use my... Yeah, here we go. Right? 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 Whee! There we go. That works surprisingly well. Now, I still cannot find this goddamn puzzle box. I think there's a lot I still haven't explored. definitely been this way. We went that way and did not find anything terribly exciting. And we've been this way. We, I know we've been in Weeping Bell Hall, and I'm guessing I went this way because I probably came in over here. Blood Gallery was deeper in. Let's go back this way. Clearly you were too grounded. You got lost so bad you won? I think that's right. I don't think I've been up here, so let's go up here. Save. That just looks like a dead end. Although I'm going to explore it anyway. Dwemer end table! Ooh. didn't work. I know there's a book somewhere that tells you like the story of a damned expedition or something that came in here, but <laughs> another short blade. I'm collecting quite the collection. But I haven't seen it yet. I wish I didn't suck at healing. Only take my 5% chance. Nope. Didn't work. Okay. Ooh, trapped. Let's open this up. I'm good at something. Mother always said. Mother wouldn't lie, would she? All them blades. Hello, Lurkult. Good to see you. Also, I always wondered why it took so long to load on my Xbox when I played it on there. Well, now you know. It was literally resetting the whole machine. It's a Dwemer bed. Aw, oh, yeah. Dwemer beds of the future. 
you little... Jason! Hello! We are lost. Which is our natural state of being in games like this. Can I sneak up on her? I think we all know the answer to this. And it's no. Oh, she has m the same dumb comfort as I have. So I'm not using mine. Ow! Ow! That was a very innocent sounding ow. Eh, I have to pass on your lovely book. I'm sorry. Take your expensive ring, though. I won't put Jason on the spot, but I will say he works for me. <laughs> Okay, please tell me that there's a fucking Dwemer puzzle box in here somewhere. What is this? Ooh, journeyman lockpick. I'll take that. I'll take the armor and hammer, too. Alright. At least I used that up. I did look in these, right? Right. I seem to have a memory of it just sitting on a random shelf somewhere. Easy to find, e but easy to miss. But you know, I've turned at this point. I've turned the gamma up enough. I should be able to see it. It's not like I should miss it. No, I do not need a Dwemer mug. You're in better shape than I would be in these caves. <laughs> oh, I should like either rest or heal or something. Okay, let's close the door and. <sighs> Guess he has to sleep on the floor again. Mother wanted better. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get in. Oh, shit! <laughs> I did not notice that side of the door was trapped. Ah, uh, that was not good. I guess I'm resting again. There we go. Yeah. Hall of Centrifuge. I don't think I've been there. Have I? does not sound right to me. Save? Thank you. Interesting. Hall of Centrifuge, where they throw you around in a circle until all the particulate matter settles. They take you for a spin! <laughs> I see what you did there. There's a dead body over there. Does that mean I've been over there? Or is it just... Did somebody else kill it? Hello. Frank runes. Eh, you got nothing good on you. There's a lot. Oh no, this guy, I remember. This is the way I came in, isn't it? totally is because this is the guy we said he had bell bottoms and I went that way there must be more to explore over here they spin you right round baby okay time for me to hit the sack have a good one good night Beth have a lovely evening I must be getting close to leveling up no I'm only at 4 out of 10 Okay, I don't think I've been this way. No, I, maybe I have. Eventually you'd think I would run out of things to kill. Oh, I think this is the upstairs of a room I've been in before. But maybe, just maybe, it is where... And the Dwemer puzzle boxes. We must finish this. I will not stop until I finish this. No matter how long it takes to upload this VOD to YouTube. Dwemer coin. Another ridiculously overpriced Dwemer hat. Not that I know exactly what the economy on Dwemer hats is, but... Yeah, because I've been down there. Right? 
Yeah, this is just one big getting lost, I think. That's the way out. Uh... Yeah, I remember back in the day we didn't have game facts. We just got lost. A lot. I came up this way. Maybe there's more over here? No, no, no. Double check these in case I've missed anything. Because they do like to pull a sneaky on you. Somebody check UESP so I can go to bed. <laughs> I know I'm missing something because I seem to recall there is like a journal you find at some point of like an expedition that has, uh, has gone sour. This is the downstairs of where I just was. I swear to god, if it's on one of these, like, tables and I haven't seen it, I'm gonna be real cross. Blood gallery man. I have been that way, though. Pretty sure I have been that way. I recall it was on a shelf, maybe. that That's what I recall, is that it was on, like, the second or sh bottom shelf of something, and that it was, like, it was hard to see. Not like a shelf like this, though, like... I also remember it wasn't particularly far in. That's my recollection. I know, I've been this way. I've definitely been this way. This is Deepor Passage I've been to. That's where I just came from. Yeah. There's nothing else down here, I don't think. Is this? Is this the way I came? I think so. next three episodes of this are just going to be me wandering around Ark and Bond. That's it. I live here now. Ah, I'm over encumbered again. I don't need all this crap. Here, I'll eat this sweet roll. Then I can sit. Oh, it has no effect on me, apparently. No, I don't want to get rid of my belt. I have good shit. I like my stuff. I'll get rid of the scrap metal, I guess. It's heavy. Ah. Sounds like it's in a secret room above the main level. Oh, yes, that. Okay, well, I guess I should go back to the main level then. I wasn't aware secret rooms were a thing in this game. That's the way. Is that a hint? 
that a request for a hint or asking if I want a hint? At this point, I, I would like a hint, yes. This room's door is on a ledge situated above the main three entrances, which are guarded by Surus Velris. The ledge can be accessed by a small pathway on the left. The puzzle box is on the lower shelf on the left side of the room above that terrain. The main three entrances. I'm not sure what they mean by main three entrances. This? Because this is... There's a path over here. Although it only goes here. I'm not sure this will get me where I want to be. Professor, lava, hot. And getting back up from here is nearly impossible. Ah! I'll just go through the lava. It is inside Arkenthon. Well, I know it's inside Arkenthon. We're in a room called Cells of Hollow Hand. Yeah, I haven't even seen that yet. So I must have missed something. And now I'm like stuck here. Unless I can cast Levitate, which seems unlikely since I have a 0% chance. Alright, where was my last save? I'll go back there. Okay. This is right outside Hall of Centrifuge. Heaven's Gallery. Ay, ay, ay. Early morning tomorrow, and get some. Oh yeah, you're getting up at like 5:30 to monitor the conference. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Good luck escaping this cave. I know it's super compelling. Ooh. Oh no, that's just the gears. I'm just gonna be going around in circles. I don't know that this is where I want to be. Oh, this is the my the main entrance. Cirrus something? Cirrus Velvus. Is he one of the guys I killed? I don't think so. So I think this is the main hall. Weeping Bell Hall. Hall Cells of Hollow Hand. Okay. So I need to figure out how to get over there. I don't think this is the way, though. So basically, I went entirely the wrong way is what I'm taking away from this. Which is really not surprising. I seem to actually be making progress in that I, I do not recognize where I am. Or, no, I have been here. But I have not... Is it this door? Have I been through this door? Cells of Hollow Hand! I have not! This, this seems mildly familiar, but at this point... No, because I haven't looted this. I don't have to wait for this shit. Or most of this shit, honestly. Okay, it's probably in this room. And 
then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna all CV the fuck out of here. Oh, hello. Things are looking bad on that front for you, dude. Moss tea. I do not need more moss tea. That's a repair hammer. I'll take that and use it. Rusty Cogs is my stripper name. It's a book. Skill book. Oh, come on. This game is just trolling me now. sure to be in here. Like, please, that's a terrible stripper name. I've decided that if I ever do, like, a drag king act, my name is going to be Francophonie. I think I've told you this before. This is clearly not... This is Cells of Hollowed Hand. That's the thing that's... I don't understand. This is the only Cells of Hollow Hand I see. Unless there's another one somewhere. Sweeping Bell Hall again. Oh, there's something here. Oh, that's just... Uh... You didn't reset after activating this quest or anything, right? I don't think so, no. I, I mean, it's in my journal. I'm supposed to... Yeah, so... I've definitely been this way. We all sick of what? Face west towards the three doors leading to Weeping Bell Hall. Above those doors is a ledge accessible by a ramp made of rocks. Is this within Cells of Hollowed Hand? No, because these are the three doors leading towards Weeping Bell Hall. You'd think I'd remembered this better by now. Okay, we're back in the main entrance. We're facing west towards Weeping Bell Hall. Above those doors is a ledge accessible by a ramp made of rocks. Okay, I see. I didn't 
remember it being like tricksy to find like this, but I guess I'm crazy. Here we are. This is someplace I've not been before. That is ah, Dwarven spear. Is that better than what I have? Like my Reachman spear, one to eighteen. Ah, it's questionable. Paper! Dwemer paper of the future! Okay, so we are here. Uh, but there is a way further in, so... All is not lost yet. This is also sells a column hand. Gotcha! Oh, hey! There we go. More on Deucey's unhinging. <laughs> Another copy of On Morrowind. I think I'm good, dude. And I'm overweight, aren't I? From these potions. Okay. Yeah, now I need to make some more hard decisions. I'm pretty sure I don't need every single one of these weapons. I'm just going to leave them some of them behind. Encumbered. <laughs> now I'm like, uh, what do I get rid of? I need to explore this room. I need to find the good things. Dire Viper Blade. Well, thank you, Lurkold. I don't think I could have done it without you. I have no idea why that is so hard. I feel like an idiot, but... Who was boss Credo? Not the bossy's boss, I guess. He's dead now. I still never found that book, though. The one where it tells you about the lost expedition, but oh well. Not super duper in for it. I just remembered it from another playthrough. Oh, maybe it's this. No, that's just paper. Okay, well, I'm just gonna um, see the intervention out of here. And worry about selling stuff next time. Oh. That will should take me back to Belmora, I would assume. Oh, Lord Vivek, help me GTFO. And yes, Balmora at the temple. Excellent. All right, friends. I, I will save. In fact, I am saving because I am going to log off for the night. All right. Have you fought Boss Credo? Yes, that was Boss Credo. Uh... Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you for bearing with me while I wandered around in circles. Um, I, you may have guessed I do not have a good sense of direction. So in many ways, this game may be slightly challenging. <laughs> um, Lurkhold, thank you so much for your help. Lee, as always, thank you for being the, you know, my biggest fan, being here for pretty much the whole stream. Um, Beth, although she's not here, uh, it's been great having you folks. Uh, let's see if anyone else is streaming. Someone I can send you over to. Except all my windows are closed. Well, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, hold up a second. Okay. Unmute mute this baby. Okay. Oh, Sean is Sean is playing. Winchkin's playing. I'll send you over to Every So Orphan. 
um, who is playing Skyrim with uh, cell shaded Christmas mods. It looked really interesting. He was doing it last night, and I really liked it. So I'm going to send you over to uh, Every So Orphan, uh, and thank you again. Uh, you could have been anywhere tonight, and you chose to be here with me, helping me escape Dwemer Ruins, and giving me hints like you are some like living version of Game Facts. And I very much appreciate it. Uh, I'll see you on Sunday.